Hello. Hi, Nina. Hello, Nicole. Hi. You are early. Hello, KK. Hello, Megan. How are you? Hello, Smudged. Hello, Christina. Hello, SRW. Hello, Clarissa. Hey, Chris. How are you? How are you? Hello, Dylan. Hi, Lee. Hello, Walker. Hello, Creed. I am live. Look at me go. I'm good, Melissa. How are you doing? This is so weird, guys. Hi, Victoria. I was literally listening to the stories on your page waiting for your live. Hello, Victoria. Hello, Live Love. You have not missed anything, Kali Ray. Hello, Shady Lane. Guys, I am using TikTok Studio TikTok. So it's going to look a little different. Hello, Usha. How are you? Hello, Bulldog. Oh, God. Why are my cats being so crazy right now? <laughs> That's what I was doing, too, waiting to see when you were live. LOL. It does look different, right? Hi, JKC. Hello, Creed. I was having trouble. Um, I was having trouble, like, with this new room setup, figuring out. Uh, what do you guys see? I wish I could see what it looks like. You know what? I can actually, right? I can go to my own. Can I go to on my own page? Hello, Meg. I just want to see what this looks like for you. Hello, Stephanie. You didn't miss any stories, Chris. Hello, Shania. Hold on, guys. I just want to see what this looks like because... Oh, I don't think I can see my own. Oh, maybe if I do this. Give me one second. I just want to check. I just want to check what this looks like for you guys because it's like so different. Hey, Gris. Sounds good, Christina. Hello, Desiree. Hold on one second. I want to see what this looks like for you guys. Okay. I could do a screenshot and share it on Discord. Oh, no, I'm looking at it right now. I just, I signed in somewhere else to check it out. Okay. It's interesting. It's interesting. It is different. Yes. It looks great. I love the new setup. Okay, you can see it on, um, can you see it on TikTok too, Clarissa? Or are you talking about on YouTube? Thank you, though, so much, Linda. How are you? You've been watching on YouTube lately? I'm on both YouTube Live and the TV on TikTok Live on my phone. Nice. Nice friends. I love them too. Hello, Chicken and Quaffles. Hello, Crystal. You literally just finished watching my YouTube. Nice lady. Nice lady, Raven. This is so weird for me. The setup looks good. Ooh, maybe. Hi, Jess. You're in the middle of writing your story. Awesome, Melissa. Awesome. Hello. That reminds me. I need to get out like a, a notebook. You're watching the update video. It does look different. So I am using. I know, right, Lady Raven? So I am using um, a TikTok live studio right now for. So I'm streaming like on YouTube with the same camera and the same mic and on TikTok live studio. Um, because the way I, I set up my new desk and stuff, I was having trouble getting my phone to like be here and also my my camera for YouTube and it not being in the way. It was like a whole thing, right? So, oh my God. um, Setting the mood with the wallpaper. Yeah, I put some like spooky, <laughs> some spooky uh, trees. But anyway, so I was like, let me try live studio because then I can just use the same camera for both people. And so it's a little bit different. I hope you guys are gonna be okay with it. We're gonna, We're testing it out. We're gonna see how it goes. We're testing it out. Um, hello. So please like give me your feedback. Wait, give it a minute and see how you feel and then give me your feedback. Um, hey, Katie, how are you? It looks good. It looks good to you. Um, and this is also a different angle. I put, I have cat TV on in the background because for my cats and also it, my TV looks weird just being blank. So I wanted to put something and look, you can see a couple of my cats over there. Different, but I love it. Okay. I like it. I love that I can see the cats. Yes. Okay, I like that you guys like that you can see the cats. Hello, Dashna. You do, Mama. Yes. Hello, Ara. They are adorable. The quality is much better on TikTok, right? 
because it's using my good camera that I'm using on YouTube and it's also using my good microphone. Although the, um, the microphone settings for YouTube are much better. So it's out uh, this, the sound is still cleaner on YouTube. Um, we can see if a fuzzy friend wants love sounds a lot better. Yes, yes, yes. Love that it's not facing, it's facing your room, not your window. Yes. She's actually watching the TV. Yes, my cats watch cat TV all the time, guys. When I'm telling you every single morning, I like do my stuff. If I have to drop my daughter for school, I do that. By the way, I'm so used to having to look at a phone and a thing. I'm looking for the phone, but there's no phone. Um, I do that. Then I come back and then I'm like getting ready to start working and I'll go into the bedroom and I'll go, uh, who wants cat TV? Natasha will always go and she'll meow at me. And then like at least four of the cats normally out of the five will come in the room and watch cat TV. It's so, so funny. Oh, good, Caitlin. I'm so happy that you like the setup. I'm so glad. The cute cat paying attention to the TV. Yes. Is that a golden frog? Yes, it is a golden frog and a yoga, yoga pose. That is actually from Pier 1 from like a million years ago. Hello, lovely. <laughs> My dog watches cat TV and barks at the birds. He loves it. Guys, if you have cats, like try cat TV. It's amazing. I couldn't believe how much my cats love it. It's literally just go to YouTube and just type in like cat, cat TV and there's a million channels you can put on. There's birds, there's mice, there's squirrels, there's bunnies. And it's actually really relaxing. I have the sound off right now for you guys, but normally in the background, the sounds are like, the bird sounds like chirping birds and stuff. And it's like very relaxing. I like to have it, like to have it here. I know it's so different. I hope you guys like it. You sent another story. Stephanie, what's the name of your story? It would probably drive my dog crazy. She tolerates the cat. <laughs> That's so cute and funny. Our cat loves watching TV too. He's mesmerized. Yes. So better on YouTube. Yes. It's really, really good on YouTube. I might do that for my cat at night because she sits at the end of the bed watching TV at bedtime and I'm always on my phone. Oh my God. You should definitely try it. Yes. There's two cats. One, two, two cats in here right now. Your cat loves the birds. I think I may have seen, it's called The House. Okay, I'm going to write it down. The House. I think I may have seen a UFO the other night. I have videos. <gasps> Allie, if you want to share the videos with us, we will gladly watch them. You sent stories a while ago. Rachel, what is? what are your stories? What's the name of the email that you sent me? I'm compiling a list, just so you guys know. I won't be starting stories um, for at least another half an hour. And then we're going to go through the list of stories. So if you're going to want a story read and I'm writing it down, just you realize you will be here for a while. I just want to give you a heads up. Thank you, Reagan. Girl, yes, Allie, send them to me. I'm going to put UFO vids. Hi, Rachel, Emma. Zero, zero, 001. Okay. You want to see. You guys, we will. We're going to share them. I absolutely love the new setup and the kitties are so adorable watching TV. My cat loves t cat TV. Yes, Victoria. I sent one a while ago. I had to tell my husband. Oh my goodness. What is the... Stephanie, we love longing ones. Uh, we love long ones. That teacher, mama, what's the name of it? I'll write it down on the list. Oh, Hannah, you're at the hospital with your sister. She's having her daughter. Oh, congratulations to her. Yes, Chris, that was really crazy. Hi, Sue Annie. How many cats do you have? My encounter was two days after. I swear to God, I manifested it. Oh, my God. The only thing so far I noticed is that it's hard to read the pinned comments because of the drawing because of the drawing we first of all you can still pin comments katie baby because that was a problem with the live studio before that you couldn't what do you mean the drawing though because i want to make sure that i get this corrected for next time hello harika i'm good thank you how are you oh the drawing game sign okay i will have to figure out where to move that we will chat about that um, hold on one second. Can we move the 100K? Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I can move the 100K. Where should I move it? Here, ready? Watch. Oh, 
sorry, that just took it away completely. Where could I move it? Like, how far up should I move it? The chat is white and the sign is white, so it blends or change the color. I can actually. This is good. Right there. Okay, perfect. All right, look at that. We fixed it already. Okay, awesome. We're figuring this out, CCC. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for sending lightning bolts. I appreciate you. Did you switch sides? Never seen your TV before. I did. I did switch sides because I got a new desk and this desk is like a corner desk and it's bigger because I needed a lot more space. Um, I was like very cramped. So I had to do a whole new setup. So this is the new angle of the camera, which is nice. You got cat TV back there. I got some cats, got my bed. I think it's pretty. I got a first try. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. How do you pick stories? Mr. Clumsy, Mrs. Clumsy. Um, I just kind of start making a list in the beginning and then we just read a bunch. Thank you, Jessica. Hi, M. Hello, Meb. It lurks farther away on here. It might be a little bit, it might be a little bit farther away. Yes, because I have you up a little bit so that you're not like right in my fucking face. <laughs> Um, TikTok, you can read the chat okay, though, besides, like, it, like is that the, the picture on the bottom with the trees, is it, like, dark enough where you can easily read the chat, or do you think I should, because that can just be black, but I was trying to put something cool down there, like, as a little, to fill up this, yes, there are trees at the bottom. Hello, Charlie from Colorado. It helps a lot. Oh, I'm so glad. The chat is great, easier to read with the trees. Yes! I'm so excited! So, oh, Allie, <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. Someone tell me how to email videos. Are they very big? Can you, you can try to send them. I mean, I don't know. The chat is nice. I'm so glad because last time that we, I tried this, I tried TikTok Live Studio one other time and you guys all hated it. <laughs> and you hated that I wasn't filling the whole screen and I was like, but you could see the chat better and people didn't like it. So I'm really glad. You could put a halo on your TV since it's over your head. What do you mean? <laughs> the image is much cooler in color. How interesting. I think I miss what's different with the camera. Thank you, Melanie. New camera, also very high quality image. I'm actually using my Logitech Brio. It's the same camera that I use for my YouTube streams. I'm using TikTok Live Studio, so it's allowing me to use my good camera. So you guys are seeing a good camera and I'm also using my good mic, but I wasn't able to do any like fancy settings on TikTok Live Studio yet. It's not that fancy yet. So it does sound better still on YouTube because the um, the settings are better on YouTube, but looking good. Hey, Katie, you could be lying in bed in the dark and read stories and I'd still watch. Lou, you are the best. I have a story, Chloe. Ella Bella. Bella, Bella, dream visits. I sent it before I put the title. <laughs> no worries at all. Perfect. Thank you. My sound is great. Nice. You sent a small snippet. Okay, perfect. Maybe like a warm ring light would help the color. Oh, you mean the color of my face? Yes, I should probably work on the color of my face. I know I'm a little washed out and... um. It honestly has to do with the fact that it's nighttime when it's daytime in here and I'm recording stuff and I have my window open with like natural sunlight and my lights. I look my face looks a lot warmer, you know, Mrs. Clumsy. Did we read that? We read something about someone being punched by a ghost. Punched a shadow figure. Ooh, I like that one. I saw you, Gris. Hello, love listening to the stories you read. So exciting. Hello, Anne. Thank you. Hi, all. Got to meet my new nephew last weekend. So I watched the lives of my parents. They were not impressed. They were not impressed with the lives. Ew. <laughs> did you announce a live in Discord? I did. Oh, my God. I pressed enter and it never pressed. I pressed enter when I went live and it never went. Well, it's announced now. <laughs> Mostly because it was scary. It is different. Yes. 
I missed the announcement. I'm sorry. I just I sent it now. I thought I sent it before, and apparently I did not press the button correctly. Ooh. I should send a story about my experiences in a haunted house I lived in in high school. Ooh. You just got it now. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, guys. Elizabeth, thank you so much for the lightning. Bless all. Thank you for the gingerbread man. Tenderheart, thank you for the rose. Missy, thank you for the 21 lightning bolts. Kayla, thank you for the rose. Hello, Mimi. Hello, Doxy Mama. Hello, Kendra. Hey, Haley. Is Jess in here? Jess called cards. Are you in here? Because Jess, Jessica shows, Jess does any kind of card you want, friend. You never caught me live before. Welcome, Red. Hello, Tyshell. Do you have ABG? What's that? The universe told me you were on, apparently. <laughs> I hope we're gonna go big tonight. I hope we are gonna go big. Okay, guys, I wanna tell you also. Um, wait, that's not what I wanna click on. I want to click on this and see how it's going. Does it tell me how many people? Guys, how many people are in the room right now? Can somebody tell me how many people are in the room right now? Hi, April, 222. Hey, Cam, I'm gonna stay on YouTube, perfect. Um, I feel like this goal does not update or maybe it does. Maybe it does. Okay. It wasn't updating. I'm getting the hang of, uh, I'm getting the hang of TikTok live studio. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. Beautiful berry. I know everything is different. I got a new desk and then I had to set it up differently. So then I did a whole thing. Oh, this is what I want to tell you. Is the live cutting off for you guys? And the live sign is off. Everything is fine for me. Blogger, make sure that you have um, your um, resolution turned up to the correct resolution. YouTube has you guys like defaultly on a on a, a worse resolution. Um, you like the new setup? Woo! Um, I'm not able to show my desk here because I can't take my shit off but I can I can make a little video for you guys Stacy thank you so much for the lightnings I am on YouTube yes hello crystal everything's fine there okay perfect 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 um thank you Richard thank you so much everything looks cool I'm so glad guys I'm so okay oh I, I need to tell you also right, let me make a note of that desk vid pics um Jess hello Jess someone is actually just asking in YouTube just for you they ask if you make anniversary cards and I said that you make every kind of card um it was Jessica shows is asking about it okay go take a shower thank you Doxy I'm also using a better camera nice 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 hello Leslie hello CK Pete um I need to tell you about the drawing game. So, friends, um, it's getting a little repetitive because it's the same words that we're doing over and over again. But I still want to play the drawing game. But I cannot play the drawing game on TikTok Live Studio. They do not have that capability yet. Um, so I'm doing my own drawing game. That was like I literally spent like four or five hours today setting up all this new stuff because <laughs> I'm crazy. I get like hyper fixated and I have to set up every little fucking thing. Um, anyway, so I made my own drawing game. So I'm going to be generating my own words like on my phone and I have it. So on your screen, you'll be able to see me and you'll be able to see me drawing. And then you guys are just going to guess. So it's going to be the same exact thing. The only difference is that TikTok, it's not going to um, be, be, um, keeping track of you and who was first and second and third. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, but I hope that that's okay. We're still going to play the game. You just won't be able to do that. Um, and it'll look better for YouTube too. It'll look better for you too. My husband had said she keeps saying hi to you <laughs> because there's so many jessicas this setup gives you more light you're brighter on video just like your personality stephanie that's so sweet that's going to be so much better that's fine that's okay still sounds fun okay oh thank you april thank you and i figure um i keep freezing for you 
I mean, literally, uh, if I look at my stream stats, it's perfect. So if it's freezing, I mean, that happens normally. Anyway, why did Uncle Matrix and the cats think of you being so busy? <laughs> Thank you, Char. You're welcome. You're getting big and glowing up, Jess. Woo! Plus, thank you, Kendra. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I figured, Kansas. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I figured, too, like, we could maybe other times do different games. Like, we'll play the drawing game, and then, like, maybe I'll set up a different game another time. Like, what can we even other – what else can we even play? I don't know. I could think of something. I could think of something. Maybe some, like, trivia or something might be fun one time. But anyway, so the same thing goes – Hangman. Oh, we could do Hangman. We could do Hangman. But I really do like, I, I really do like doing uh, games in between the stories. It's like we hang out, we read some scary stories, we play some games, we have some snacks, some snacks. Wait, can I see how many likes I have? I feel like that's going to be a problem for me. I don't think I can see how many likes I have. Oh, I can, I can. We're up to 31.4 thousand. Okay. As the thing says, TikTok, at every 100,000 likes, we will be playing a drawing game. So make sure you're tapping the screen, please. And thank you. You're a trivia legend. Ooh. Always snacks. 20 questions. I feel like that'd be hard with like a whole room of people. I have one, two, three, four, five, six stories, but I'm still taking stories. McKenna, do you have one? I'll write you down. Supernatural trivia, Lady Raven, I was thinking about that for the Supernatural fans. Depends on the trivia. Well, it could be general or we could also sometimes do like more. What's the name of it, McKenna? Yes, please on TikTok, make sure that you're backed out of the live and you hit the like button for me, the thumbs up button. You can only do it once on YouTube, but it's very helpful and share the live if you can. TikTok, please make sure that you are tapping that screen. Um, it's so weird that I'm talking to both of you in the same camera. I, I'm trying to get used to it. I keep going to look for a phone for TikTok. Uh, TikTok, make sure you're tapping the screen and setting those likes at every 100,000 likes. We do play a drawing game. Um, and it's very helpful for me. Also, please share the live too. And if you are able and only if you are able, please send gifts. Chuck, thank you so much for the chilies. Beautiful Berry, thank you for the lightning bolts. Shelby, thank you for the heart me. Stacy, thank you for the lightning. I think I said that, said that one already. I do like this too. It's pretty cool with the TikTok Live Studio. It literally has like your chat and above the chat, it shows me everything that people like gifts and subscriptions so I won't miss anything. And I'll be able to thank you. Even if it's not in the moment, I'll still be able to thank you after. Trevia question, how many Jessicas are there on these lives? <laughs> so many. Um, you restarted Supernatural, nice. Car Jess, where are you so I can scoot over to your profile for a minute? Car Jess is on YouTube right now, but she is just called cards. Um, McKenna, thank you guys. I see people sharing the live. Thank you so much for sharing the live. You found me on your FYP, Stephanie. Thank goodness, no wedding news, Doxy. We are really slacking on the whole wedding planning um, situation. We just really, we want someone to just do it. <laughs> we don't want to have to plan anything and we tried we reached out to a few wedding planners because we're like let's just get a wedding planner they can help us and then they can we're really we're having a small wedding but we are we want to make sure we hire someone who's going to coordinate on the day right we don't want to worry about anything on the day because if we're having a small wedding it's going to be a lot of like stuff that we're either making ourselves or bringing ourselves but we don't have to wor want to worry about like coordinating and whatever so we want someone to do that right so we tried um, we tried reaching out to a couple of wedding planners. Only one of them actually got back to us and we had a call with him and he basically was like, you guys don't need a wedding planner because it's like such a small wedding. And we're like, but we want one. And he's like, well, you don't need one, but we're willing to fucking pay you, but, but you don't need one. Okay, great. So we have really, really, does anyone know a wedding planner? <laughs> Elope. That's what he said. He was like, I just want to get, he's so cute. He's like, I just want to marry you. Maybe we should just like go get married. Just me and you go get married. And then like, we'll plan a party after. And I was like, no, like this is going to be my last wedding. I hope knock on wood. So I would like to actually like have the wedding. He was trying to help, but he was so unhelpful. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. You know, what's funny, Dash Not? He actually, we never got the papers in the mail, but it has to be. It's been like a million months. It's been a million months and invitations. Persevere. 
I'm I'm on Long Island. I'm on Long Island. Go to Vegas. No fucking way am I going to Vegas. How small? 20 to 40 people max. Probably more like 20. Closer to the 20 range than the 40 range. Ask one of your friends. I don't have friends. <laughs> you guys are my friends. I have one friend. She lives in North Carolina. She could never marry us. She's like too shy to be up there marrying us. Um, But we were thinking about po- potentially asking my sister or somebody because uh, my first wedding, he, my ex's dad married us. My sister's wedding, our dad married her. So we're totally into like getting someone to marry us. But I'm not really one. I did a lot for my first wedding. I had like the big regular wedding already like you know what I mean the first time and like it wasn't my scene it was beautiful and I'm glad I got to do it and experience it but now I just want something really small I just want to marry the man that I love and not have so many people staring at me so I can enjoy it more um come to Colorado I used a place called marry me in Colorado they did it all (gasps) oh doxy mama I love I've never been to Colorado and I've like Always wanted to go. Marry me in Colorado. I do want to say that we do want to get married in the woods. Like, I literally don't want to be barefoot with my feet on the earth and, like, with trees around. 100%. Oh, I'm so glad, Phoenix. You used to live in Huntington, Richard. That's so funny. I got married the first time at the... um. Oh, my God. When did I get married the first time? (laughs) The Harbor Club. The Huntington Harbor Club I got married the first time. Is there a specific area in Long Island? No. To your wedding on live, I may set up a live stream for you guys because everybody, like, wants that. You love that idea? Yes, yes, yes. Me too. I literally got ordained to marry my friends a few years ago. That's amazing. Christy, hello. Oh, I know it's not hard to get ordained at all. My dad got ordained at uh, Church of the Flying Spaghetti online, which is my favorite. It's so good. If you you need to look at it, it's so funny. Hello, Joni. Wooded wedding is so beautiful. Yes, your hubby's uncle married you. That's awesome. Maybe we can just help. Oh, Stephanie, you would do pictures. Thank you. I did. I just don't even have one friend, so I feel you on this. I wish I knew how to plan a wedding. My best friend married us. That's awesome. I might be live streaming my wedding. Yes, it's in the guys. I'm so far behind on TikTok chat. I'm so sorry. Uncle's twin did a part in the cemetery, too. Oh, hello, Carrie. We had a friend marry us. Second marriage went to Kentucky. Hello, hello. Hello, Mello. Estes, Estes Park is the best. That's where I got married in the mountains and they did it all. Oh, the mountain sounds nice, too. Um, you love my shirt. I got it on Amazon. Thank you. Hello from Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Justin said Justin should get ordained. And I'm not letting Justin marry me. Are you crazy? Who knows what crazy shit he would do? And who knows what crazy entities they would bring to my wedding? <laughs> my friend Beth got ordained has done like 30 weddings now. That's so crazy. You would love to watch. Yes. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Friends on TikTok, we are also live on YouTube. If you want to hop over there, uh, t- uh, my YouTube name is Tessica Vision. The stories will be on the screen uh, over there. I'm probably going to go live tomorrow as well. My second marriage was 10 people and my son was a flower boy and a friend married us. That sounds so beautiful. Dane to do, what was your comment that was flying by? What did I miss? Is it okay if I PM you to get a little info? Yes, 100%. PM me, PM me, Dana. Thank you. You can. He would bring a doll. I wanted to do the beach originally and then I changed to wanting to be in the woods. I I um I love beaches and I love the water and I love the sand, but I love the trees more. I'm more connected to the trees. I'm engaged and don't even know where to start wedding planning. Both my parents had Vegas weddings. I know, Callie. Get a, I have a book. Get a book. <laughs> Heck yeah. See you on YouTube. Whoop, whoop. Were you able to catch my story title? Nope. Was not. Can you write it again? I'll pay attention. I promise. Also, friends, if you're pinning stuff, I just want the mods to know if you're pinning stuff. I can't see the pins in TikTok Live Studio. So if you're pinning something for me, I am definitely not seeing it. Guys, we're at 50,000 likes. Keep tapping that screen, TikTok, so we can play the drawing game. I love being in the woods, too. You might get sucked up into the mothership if he does. (laughs) My fiance's sister had a beautiful mansion, and my fiance's other sister works at a wedding venue, but we would rather 
have a small wedding at his sister's house. We only had four friends between us. Clarissa, I get it. Me and my husband had a courthouse marriage, but said if we last for all 25th, we would have the big wedding. Thank you so much for subscribing, Jenny. My friends over here. Chuck, thank you for the chilies. Katie, thank you for the heart me's. Tenderheart, thank you for the roses. Lovely, thank you for the roses. Jenny, thank you for the lightning bolts. Sherilyn, thank you for the lightning bolts. Robin, thank you for the lightning bolts. Ooh, thank you for all those lightning bolts, Robin. I'm only 90 minutes from Vegas if you want to get hitched there. Just saying, no, I don't want to get hitched in Vegas. Hi, Katie, I can see you. I can see you. I did a cruise wedding. Ooh, nope. Hard fucking no on a cruise wedding. Don't like cruises, not into cruises. I get seasick and then you're stuck on a fucking boat. You're just stuck on a boat. Nope. <laughs> it's not for me, but I am so happy that you had a great time. I am on YouTube also. Yes, please. What's instant divorce? <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Whoever has my zodiac sign. <laughs> no interest in a cruise. <laughs> I am on YouTube, TikTok also. Yes, if you want to hop over to YouTube. Weddings in the woods are beautiful. Yes. 10 more to go. What? 10 more to 10 what more to go? Did I miss something? Oh, 10 more years. Never mind. I got it. I got it. I love winter weddings. The summers in Texas are too brutal. I never knew you had a YouTube. I'm excited. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Taurus here too. Hello, mommy. Thank you. A skydive ceremony? You'll fall in love all over again. Get the fuck out of here. Also, Uncle Matrix and I, but especially Uncle Matrix, terrified of heights. Never would skydive. Ever, never, ever. Okay, April. Sounds good. I'll see you over there. Thank you so much, mommy. Hello, Mara. The ocean, right? You don't know what's down in that fucking ocean. There's some shit down there in that ocean. I'm telling you. I am telling you. How many people do we have on YouTube? I wish I could see those stats. Heights are the worst. Okay. I'm going to try to get off my donut and see how it goes. My tailbone has been so extra bad. Oh, my God. Robin's using the Odin emotes. The Odin emote, guys. Oh, my God. <sighs> Hold on. I'm still getting the hang of this. New desk. 82. Nice. We are going to be eating a pear as a snack. You guys now have the Odin emote. If you are a subscriber on TikTok or a member on YouTube, you guys have an Odin emote. That's the first thing you did when you <laughs> when you got in. Oh, YouTube friends, if you see, I have a little counter down here. We are 26 members away from unlocking the next emote, which will be another cat, and we can vote on the cat. Mm. He is handsome. We made him look like he's a little bit dumb because he's a big dumb stupid boy but he's so handsome and he's has an air conditioner behind him because you know how he loves to sleep under the air conditioner and play with the air conditioner and turn it on and off um but i do just want to say for reals the vet told us he's a little dumb <laughs> the vet literally told us he was a little dumb i didn't know i was afraid of heights until i was on top of a ladder at the fighting academy did you know napa started out with exploring the ocean and then switched to space that is a very interesting fact and i'm assuming you meant nasa cats in the wedding party justin said you'd have a haunted doll as your ring bearer no justin absolutely not better an ac than the toilet that's true he does love the toilet but now we have the uh we have the toilet locks on now mm. i'm gonna start reading stories oh my god mckenna i didn't fucking pay attention did you tell me your story name again? I didn't pay attention. And I can't see pins. Um, what, the, what the fuck was I just going to say? We're going to start reading stories shortly. I normally start reading at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is in about seven minutes. But uh, I'm going to wait a couple minutes after that just because I got on a couple minutes late. And I'm still eating my snack and chatting with you. Tracy, thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community, friends. Welcome. Welcome our new Glitch community member. That was really weird, Christina. Mm. Holy shit, guys. Sorry, wait, I need to catch up. Yes, the TV is on for the cats. That's Cat TV on YouTube. 
Um, I'm a dog groomer and I can confirm some pets just aren't as smart as others. We will be reading stories shortly. I just got a new orange kitty and he's crazy. He loves baths too. Baths? He likes to take a bath? That's crazy. I actually do have tortillas next to me. I have I have a pear, a, a banana, and a and tortillas next to me. We're eating this pear because I thought I ordered two pears from the store, like two singular pears, and apparently I ordered two bags of pears. Um, so we need to eat the pears so I don't waste my money. And actually, they're perfectly ripe right now, so I've been eating them like crazy. They're so good. Mm-hmm. We could have made it to a million. Okay, McKenna. My mom confirmed her murder. The worst. I'm not the worst. I'm just paying attention to a lot. I like YouTube better than TikTok. Same. I love our chats. Welcome to the family. Your cats love Supernatural more than cat TV. That's amazing. Your calico likes baths. The title alone made my jaw drop. I love it. So weird having the background on the bottom here. I know, but you can see the chat better, right? No, I still see your membership, Reese. Wait, your membership on, on YouTube? Are you talking about TikTok? Because I can see your TikTok badge. I saw your video about the soul that died and the girl that went to the other girl's vessel. Yes. Make a tart. Pears are too mushy for you? I like them mushy. Mm-hmm. They were watching the cat TV before. I put a picture of her in the pet shot on Discord watching Supernatural every time Dean comes on. Oh, I think I saw that, Christy. I think I wait. Hold on. Did you put it now or you put it? I feel like I, I saw that, right? Hold on. I'm scrolling up. Yeah, it's right here. Yep. My princess baby face enjoying Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> so good <laughs> literally so good melissa my story is called halloween thank you so much for subscribing wendy oh my god oh never mind i'm so stupid <laughs> you like supernatural that's great hello another mckenna i'm good how are you doing Hmm. This is so weird because I can see moderator Jessica pinned a comment. But I can't see the comment. I wonder if I can see it over here. I'm going to have to ask somebody. Ta -da. Reese, thank you so much for the lightning bolts. Esther, thank you for the lightning bolts. Sabrina, thank you for the lightning bolts. Hello, Joy. I'm doing very well. Yeah, we have to figure that out. I don't know how to see them on here. I would love to hit a million likes tonight. What are we at right now? 79. Guys, 20, 20k more likes, TikTok. And we'll play the drawing game. Mm. I'm sorry. It's just very juicy. So if you have that thing where you don't like to listen to noises, like, close your ears. I don't know what to do about it. It's just, like, super juicy. Mmm. I know, Gomez. I know. Bethany, I love you, too. Hey, Mojo. Hey, ASMR. You haven't missed any stories. We're going to start in a few minutes. Your cats love cat TV, Jess. I'm so excited. Yes, it's a pair. Hmm. Hey, Maddie B. So, Bethany, all pears I ever eat are dry and hard. Tell me where to good, get a good one. These were all hard Um, when I got them. You just have to let them sit. I literally got these two bags of pears, and they were all hard, and I let them sit, and it took, mm, it took a couple of days. Every day I would just check them. I would just, like, squeeze one and see if any were getting soft yet. Um, you just got to let them sit. And then once they get nice and soft, you got to, like, eat them because you don't want them to get you only got a couple days to eat them before they get too soft that they're bad. Mm. 
Mmm, tangerines. Mm-hmm. Oh, put them in a brown paper bag. It ripens them faster. I didn't know that. Hello, Brie. Hello, honey. Thank you, Brie. I guess the same as peaches. Ooh, peaches. I can't wait for peach season. Mmm, I love a good peach. <laughs> The school I teach it have the best pears and the kids hate them. And with, yeah, I know that bananas do um, ripen other things faster. I forgot. I never use that, though, to help ripen things. That's, thank you for reminding me of that. Your new mic is insane. You can definitely do ASMR. Read a scary story and, and turn a page. Um, Richard, thank you. I am not like a professional singer at all, but I sing all the time. I love to sing. I love to sing. <laughs> Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. That's how it goes, right? Peaches for free. Now I want a pair. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pineapple, watermelon, and cantaloupe. So I like cantaloupe sometimes. Love watermelon. Can eat it all day. Pineapple. I don't like the texture of pineapple. I like the, um, thank you, Rochelle, for subscribing. I like the, the taste of pineapple. I just don't like the texture. That's me while teaching. I sing all the time. Today, I picked the perfect crispy honey crisp apple. <gasps> no, not honeydew. Cantaloupe. Honeydew is too tart for me. My favorite kind of apple is a Macintosh apple. Hands down. It's like kind of red. But like with a little green, tiny green tartness. And the texture of it is normally like softer, which I really, really enjoy. What is everybody's favorite apple? You know, I had no idea that there was different kinds of apples. Well, I did, but I didn't know that they tasted differently. And then I like one time tried a bunch of apples and I was like, holy shit, there's like literally so many. Honey crisp. Oh, you guys really love a honey crisp. A honey crisp is good. A granny Granny Smith is the greens, right? Pink ladies are pretty good. Fuji. Russets. I don't I don't think I've ever tried a russet. Mm. Gala apples. Fuji. No one likes a Macintosh? Oh, okay. Rolo's Ro likes a Macintosh. You don't like apples? The yellow ones. Green apple, honey crisp, and pink ladies. Fuji. <laughs> Iona, you're allergic to apples. That's so sad. Never had a Macintosh. It's literally you should try. If you haven't tried a Macintosh, like, please try a Macintosh. I thought that they all tasted like Red Delicious is. I just like was like, okay, apple's an apple, right? Apple is not a fucking apple. Russets are potatoes. No, they, they spelled it differently. It said it was like, where is it? Uh, R-U-S-I-T-S. -S. I guess it's like a different... I like the tart apples. Your daughter's allergic to gala apples. Jazz? Is jazz a kind of apple? You like crab apples? There's literally so many kinds of apples. It's crazy. Mm. Snapdragon apples. Never heard that. You know what's really fun? Me and my daughter like to do sometimes is like, go to the grocery store and like pick a fruit we've never tried before and try it. They're normally really good. Linda Macintosh. Woo. You can't stand Red Delicious. I think Red Deliciouses are like overrated, honestly. The Golden Delicious tastes somewhat like a pear. Hmm. Oh, Doxy Mama, my daughter loves cotton candy grapes. Hi, Allie. You can send stories to antimatrix at gmail.com. My daughter and I do fruit of the month. Miranda, I love that. I love it. Mm. I don't think Red Deliciouses are soft at all. I feel like they're hard. Hello, London. Hello, Sage. You hate the texture and the taste of a Red Delicious. Oh, the Asian market has really cool stuff. Cedrica. Pine berries. 
I love pineapple and bananas and strawberries and blueberries. You did the new fruit thing with your daughter too? There's an apple they don't produce anymore and I can't remember but it was so good. They don't produce it. That means it was like man-made, I suppose. We did that last week. We got a dragon fruit. I thought dragon fruit was supposed to be kind of sweet, but it wasn't. I feel like dragon fruit has like really no taste. Like I feel like it has a very, very slight taste and it's very juicy. I enjoy dragon fruit. I will eat any apple that's crisp and juicy. Yes. I got lucky. My second daughter, who is only 18 months, loves fruits and veggies. Her favorite is broccoli and zucchini. I'm so sad. I fucking love broccoli so much. And it just fucks up my stomach so bad. Jackfruit. Mmm. Yellow dragon fruit is sweet and delicious. Dragon fruit tastes like cucumber to me. I can see that. I can see that. You know what? I really do like mango uh as well but i don't like love the texture of a of a actual mango i'll eat it but i don't love the texture mojo thank you for the roses sabrina thank you for the lightning bolts rika thank thank you for the heart me love red dragon fruit and broccoli and zucchini are my favorite Love my outfit. Thank you. It's from um, Amazon. Trader Joe's freeze-dried mangoes. I think we found an apple tree in, in a pocket universe. Never been able to find it again. <gasps> so yummy. Pomegranate. Mm, pomegranate is a bit tart. It was natural, but I guess only big companies really sold it and they stopped whatever they did to grow it, like planting it. Oh, okay. Mango orange juice is so good, Kendra. So good. Thank you, London, for following. If you're allergic to poison ivy, you have a 40% chance to be allergic to mango. That is such a weird and interesting fact. Thank you so much. Tony Poloni, thank you so much for the heart me and for the lightnings. I appreciate you. Megan, thank you for the rose. I don't know if I thanked you already. <laughs> Cherry plums. Oh, plums. Oh, plums are so good. I love me a plum, man. I forget all the fruit that's so good. My parents have a ton of mango trees and they don't like them, so I get as many as I can eat all summer. That is awesome. Best apples you've ever tasted. Never had a plum? Ooh, you need a plum. But make sure that the plum is ripe. If it's if it's not, like, nice and ripe, if the inside is more white, then it's going to be kind of, like, tart, I guess is the word. Um. You want it when it's softer and the inside is like deep purple. Am I, th am I thinking that right? Now I'm in my head, am I like, does it turn deep purple? I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> am I crazy? Hi, mama. Pluots, plum apricot hybrid. I need to try that. That sounds amazing. And I've heard of a pluot and I didn't know what it was. Thank you for telling me. There's no fruit I don't like. Yes. Ooh, cherries, 100%. Cherries, cherries, cherries. Almost to 100K. Keep tapping that screen. Starfruit is also good. Starfruit is. I just ate an entire bag of Skittles and now I feel sick. I got hungry with all the apple talk. <laughs> Sounds good, Katia. Kadia, Kadia, Katia. I'm not sure which one. Raspberries. Well, strawberries, blueberries, any berry. Delicious. Mwah. Delicious. Delicious. Kumquats. I've never had a kumquat. Oh, I do love dates. And you can make so many things with dates. I make these little balls. <laughs> it's literally just dates and crushed up um, nuts, like cashews or um, almonds, whatever you want to use in there. And you just put, it, put that in the blender. Brrr, and then you roll them into little balls. And then I roll those balls in chia seeds. And then I put them in the fridge so that they get harder. And there's great little snacks. They're delicious. It's a type of orange, a kumquat. I have seen them. I just haven't had one. About to eat a bag of pork skins. <laughs> Enjoy your pork skins. Katie Jo. Oh, my God. Love it. Dates hurt my teeth. Oh, really? You are. It's so preppy in here. That's so cool. Are you in her class or something? I love dates, but I can't say the way they look. Remind me of a bug. They do. 
they look like big cockroaches. They 100% do. 100K! Woo woo! We can play the drawing game before we start reading. Kumquats are tart. Aren't Saturn peaches also donut peaches? I've never heard of that. You're in her class. That is so cool. I don't want to ask you your name because I don't want to, you know, make you feel uncomfortable. But that's really, really super cool. And you can tell her that I said hi to you on my live stream <laughs> when you see her in school tomorrow. Fresh figs. Woo. Yours is 102.3. Oh, my God. <laughs> Saturn peaches. What's the difference between a Saturn peach and a regular peach? How does an apricot taste? Oh, the little cutie oranges? I have a bag of those in my fridge. The cuties are the best because they're easy to peel. They're like easy peasy to peel, right? And then you can just, and they they taste so good. Oh my goodness. I ate dates trying to go into labor. Do they help you go into labor? Your name is London. Welcome, London. Thank you. I am live, Cheryl. Oh no, you didn't. Jess, thank you so much for a rose. I appreciate, oh, a lot of roses. Your first gift, thank you. <laughs> April, you are not dumb. Chris, are you um, Are you in the chat? Can you pop, pop the, the link to become a member uh, in the YouTube chat, please? I got a really good brand of mandarin oranges. Wish I could remember. Hello, Smith. Now you want fruit? I got two cats in the background. One right there. That's cauliflower. The white one is cauliflower. And the other one back there is Tootie. And I have three other ones, if you didn't know. Been wanting to become a member? If you want to become a member on YouTube, Darby, we're on YouTube right now. Friends on TikTok, we are also live on YouTube. If you want to come over and hang out on YouTube, the stories will be on the screen there. Um, and... Chris just put, one of my mods just put the link in, in the chat so that you can become a member if you're interested. You can also become a TikTok Live subscriber if that's what you mean, or if anybody wants to become a TikTok Live subscriber. If you become a TikTok Live subscriber or a YouTube member, you get a badge next to your name. You get, I think we're up to 17, 17 emotes, 18 emotes, something like that, um, that you can use in the chat. And YouTube, you can actually also use your emotes in the comments section of my videos, which is really super fun. And your badges in the comment section of my videos as well. Um, you also get a special role in Discord for both people. And um, my YouTube is Tessica Vision. It's the same name as same name as here, Tessica Vision. Um, and what else? Oh, and uh, on YouTube, there are actually two levels of memberships. The first one is all the stuff I just mentioned. And the second one is all the stuff I just mentioned. Plus, you get access. You get early access to videos. So, for instance, um, I have a YouTube video that came out today. And it was six updates um, for stories that we read. It was like an hour-long video. And that video came out publicly today. But it came out for members like a day and a half ago. It, they got it early. They get it before it goes public. April, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you. Everybody, welcome April. Thank you so much. Welcome our new little Glitch community member. I will be reading stories in a few minutes. We're going to play the drawing game first, and then we will be reading. Cheryl, this is going to be my new setup, so I hope you are enjoying it. I know, Doxy, you are so sweet. Court, Courtney, what is the name of your story? Odin is super goofy, I know. I'm so glad you like it. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you, Chris. Oh, that's okay. Then do you want to tell me like the first part of your email address so I can find it? Uh, yes. Yes. That is cat TV and they are watching it. <laughs> Guys, in just a few minutes, we are going to play the drawing game and then we are going to read some stories. Thank you, Chris. Yes, they are. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for subscribing, Becca. Stacy, thank you so much for the lightning bolts. Guys, if I miss your gifts, I apologize. I'm on TikTok Live Studio, so I don't see them as they come in anymore, which is actually kind of sad because I won't get to see the pretty animations. I just thought about that. 
that's actually pretty sad. Um, but I do get a list of, of them. So I look up every once in a while and I see people that have sent stuff and I say thank you. Thank you, Andy. Uh, Courtney, what was the name? What was the name? What's your email address, though? Like the first part of it. Your dog loves watching that stuff, too. That's awesome. Welcome to the new Glitch members. Beautiful Berry, thank you so much for the 51 lightning bolts. Michelle, thank you so much for the 41 lightning bolts. And I think I said thank you to Stacy for the 10 lightning bolts, but I can't remember. Terry, you're not annoying at all. You're just asking questions, and that's okay. Have your cats ever lunch at the TV? Yes. <laughs> A few times. <laughs> A few times. <laughs> I just want to write Courtney's down before uh, before we do the drawing game and before we start reading our stories. YouTube is a lot more clear, yes. YouTube. YouTube. I'm just waiting one more second. Ami, thank you so much for the lightning bolts. TikTok is definitely so okay. Since everyone is in here, hello Nova, hello Amanda. Um, thank you Nova. My kitty send love to yours. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um. Okay, while I'm waiting. I guess I'll just say this really quick. Hello and welcome, everybody. My name is Jess. Uh, people call me Anti Matrix, and I read your weird, unexplainable stories that you send me about glitches in the Matrix, aliens, paranormal, dreams, and stuff like that. Hold on, let me just write this one down. Candace. Haunted. Family. Okay. Tara, thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the Glitch community. Please, everybody, welcome Tara. Yay. Um, I'm losing my whole train of thought right now. Caitlin, thank you. Oh, that's you. Candace actually just told me. I got it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, anywho, um, if you guys didn't realize so far, I got a new desk and I have a whole new setup and it's a corner desk. So this, you're actually like right in the corner of my room now, which is why it's a completely new viewpoint. Um, and I hope you like it. I actually like this viewpoint because you can see some cat TV and you can see some of my cats. And I think it's, I think it's like a nice little, a nice little viewpoint. Um, also TikTok, I am using TikTok Live Studio to stream you. So which means I am using my good camera. It's hooked up to my TikTok and my YouTube at the same time and my good microphone, even though it does sound better on YouTube, but it still sounds pretty good on TikTok. Um, and so that's why it looks different for you guys, TikTok. I know I have like trees on the bottom where the chat is and there's like stuff on the screen. Yes, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And so... Um, also the problem is that, uh, I cannot play the drawing game on TikTok live studio. They do not have that capability yet. So I set up my own drawing game. So we're still going to play the drawing game. Uh, I'm still going to be drawing things on the screen. It's going to look a little different for you. And then you guys are going to guess in the comments. I'm going to give you a while to guess in the chat and then I'll reveal the answer. The only difference is going to be it's not through TikTok specifically. So it's not going to keep track of you. And I won't be able to tell you who's in first place and who's in second place and who's in third place and that kind of thing. Um, I hope that's okay for you. But hello, Bricka. Looks and sounds amazing. I'm so glad. Easier to read the chat with the dark background. I'm so glad. I know, Katie Joe. So we're playing, we're doing it different. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were really upset. I'm upset about that part because it was fun. But I thought that was okay anyway, because to be quite honest with you, um, the the TikTok drawing game was getting repetitive because it was the same words over and over and over and over again. So this way I can do my own words and it can be 
however, whatever fucking words, I'm going to put like a little word generator on my phone. Um, and then we can play other games too. Like maybe we'll play Hangman one time. Maybe we'll do like trivia one time instead. Dahlia, thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh my God, my voice. <laughs> welcome to the Glitch community. I appreciate you. Thank you for subscribing, Lily. Everybody, welcome Thalia. Oh my goodness. Just subscribe on YouTube. I can't tell if I like TikTok better or if I'm just a creature of habit. <laughs> well, thank you so much for subscribing. I like this setup better. It's much nicer. And chat is easier to see. I'm so good. Knowing who was first. I know. It was fun knowing who was first. I know. I am going to miss that part. Plus, I don't like that I can't see the gifts coming out at me, which I really, really enjoyed. That's very disappointing. Maybe why, maybe why I'm not getting so many gifts. Um, and I do need some water. <laughs> uh, yes, welcome, welcome. Hello, Ashley. Um, yeah. So we're going to try the drawing game. We're going to see how it goes. We're about to start that. And then we're going to read some stories. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten stories ready to go. Sorry, Megan. Sorry, guys, about the drawing game. Ooh. A card guessing game. That's interesting. Um. Okay. Thank you so much for the lightnings, Brie. Um, I love you guys so much. I'm doing a lot of ums right now because my brain is, I'm, I'm not used to this setup yet. I will get used to it. I promise it will be a lot smoother, but I'm very, very glad. Um, if you guys want to send stories in, you can send them to antimatrix at gmail.com. Um, if you want to become a member or if you want to become a TikTok Live subscriber, you can do that and get all the emotes and all the stuff I just said before. I'm not going to repeat that whole thing again. Please, if you haven't yet, please come join us in Discord. Um, Discord is uh, open to everybody. We have 1,600 people in our Discord. Um, it's a good place to hang out with like-minded individuals. And also, I have an announcements channel where I announce when I'm going live, when I post a YouTube video, when I drop new merch and stuff like that. So it's a really, really good place to be. I will add everybody in the announcements channel so that you will get a notification on your phone as long as you have that turned on. And you'll be able to see all of those things. So please make sure. <laughs> How many days have we been Tony free? So, oh my God, speaking of squirrel. Wait, look, guys. Wait. Yes, yeah, squirrel. Squirrel. Tell me that wasn't so good. <laughs> um <laughs> Did you see it? Did it come on the screen? Yes. <laughs> I got that now. And then also I just want to show you the other ones because I put pictures to them. So we have this one. Hey, ass butt. <laughs> and then we have this one. That was scary. <laughs> So good. Yes, I put videos with the sounds. <laughs> and now TikTok gets them too. So that's exciting for everybody. <laughs> yes, Supernatural, Supernatural fan. <laughs> okay. The Dean one. That was scary. Um, <laughs> we do need a Tony one. You miss a squirrel one? Here it is one more time for you. Squirrel. You're meeting Dean again in June? I'm meeting Dean and Sam and Cass in in May. If anybody is going to uh, Creation in New Jersey, I'm going to that one. So if anybody's going, we should totally meet up and say hi. How do I make it go on YouTube and TikTok at the same time? I'm using OBS for YouTube, and then I am using a, my virtual camera on from OBS, so it can I can also use TikTok Live Studio for TikTok. Yes, me and Uncle Matrix will be at Creation in May in New Jersey. You have your dreams too. Yes, I can't wait. Um, anyway, yeah, so <laughs> join the Discord. And what else? Also, I am live on YouTube as well. TikTok, if you're interested in coming over there, it's Tessica Vision, same name as here. Even if you want to stay on TikTok, that is completely cool. But also, you should subscribe to my YouTube. 
um, because I do record these lives and they go up on YouTube the following day. So in case you miss any stories or you want to rewatch them, um, you can do that. And also I do post YouTube videos. I just posted a YouTube video today and it is of, it's an hour long and it's of six updates, six story updates. Hello, Christy. Hello. Thank you so much. So apparently I'm supposed to bring a porcelain doll as the ring bearer for your wedding. Should I invite some skin? Well, no. <laughs> I don't know what to say to interact with and then feel kind of weird and out of place. Don't feel weird, Tara. You don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But if you want to say stuff, you can say whatever you want. Say whatever you're thinking. You can answer stuff in the chat. You can like hop in stuff in the chat. Whatever you want. I made your birthday card today. I got in a car making groove, just a random squirrel thought. You made me a birthday card today? I don't think my comments are working. I'm going to close and come back. Squirrel. squirrel. Um, we're all weird here. Yes. Safe weirdos here. 100. We're all weirdos here. Look. <laughs> And we are very accepting and loving and non-judgmental. So just be yourself. And if yourself means you just sit around and lurk for a while, do that. You don't need to chat. Whatever you're comfortable with. Um, the good weirdos. Woo! That's why we're all here. Unless you're Tony. Yep. <laughs> Me too, Jess. I'm lurking. See, look, there's a lurker. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Thank you, Amy, for being transparent. Um. Oh my god, guys, I'm talking way too much as always. Squirrel. I'm, just, I'm gonna press that button so many times, I swear to God. Um I didn't even finish going through everything in my in my bio. If you go to the link in my bio, it's tessicavision.com. But TikTok, you can click on the link in my bio. YouTube, Chris has been putting links in the chat forever and ever and ever, or you can go to tescavision.com. It has all the links I'm talking about. The Discord, the YouTube. It has my P.O. box if you want to send me anything. Um, it has literally everything. Just go check it out. My merch. I have merch. <laughs> go check out my merch. I have Anti-Matrix merch. <laughs> and also, that's it. I love you. Okay. Great. <laughs> I'm lurking too. See? Yep. Doing the dishes while listening. Ooh, I'm a semi-lurker. Lurker here. <laughs> okay, we're going to play. We're going to play the game. Let me get it ready. Let's see if I remember how the fuck to do this now. Let's see if I can remember. Um, it was this, and then this, and then this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this. Perfect. Perfect. Um, okay, let's see. Can you guys see? Perfect, YouTube. And now let's see if it works on TikTok. Perfect, TikTok. Okay, friends. We're getting ready to play. What do you guys think? You like it? Um, okay, hold on. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Pictionary random word generator. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna do three. The keyboard covers half of it? Oh. It's hidden when you go to type? Hmm. Okay, I didn't take that into account. So, hmm, maybe I can move it up next time. I'll have to think about that. I have to keep that. I have to keep that into account. Let me write that down. Uh, TikTok. It was that way before. All right. I have to figure that out. Okay, we're going to try it. All right, we need a word. We're going to do easy words. <laughs> this one is so easy, but we're going to start with an easy one because I'm going to see how this goes. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, okay. I just want to point out that um, drawing with my mouse is a lot. Are you kidding me? I can't even draw a straight line. 
I can't even draw a straight line. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat. Look at that. We're cheating. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get it on TikTok. People are getting it on TikTok. You can't see it. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I can't press that button. Sorry, friends. You're doing good. Everyone's doing great. I'm just giving YouTube a little bit of time. Woo! I need a drawing board. It connects to your computer. I do need one. I do need one. Yes. Okay. The answer was box. Whoa. <laughs> so, okay. Let me delete this one. Oh, shit. I'm going to lose you for one second, YouTube. Okay. Oh, no. Shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm putting you both regular. I'm putting you both regular. I messed up. Come on. This is... I'm getting the hang of it. Give me a second. Hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Give me one second. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. This should be better. We're back. We're back. All right. Let's do another word. All right, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Uh, okay. If it's if it's possible, my drawings are going to be even worse than they used to be. Because I can't do a straight line. I definitely need a better way to draw this. <laughs> Okay, all right, we got some good answers on TikTok and on YouTube. We're getting it, we're getting it. Doing good, doing good. Allie Cakes! You guys are all getting it. Everyone's getting it. The answer was mouth. Great job, everybody. <laughs> I really wish that I, I do miss it telling me who is first and, and second and third, you know? I do miss that. That was really fun. I wish I could do that on TikTok Live Studio. Okay. All right, wait, last one. This one's going to be harder. Um, How am I going to do this? I know, they did. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. Well, how come you guys are still guessing? It's still fun. I hope so. Um, no echo? Okay, good. All right, here we go. Last one. And then we're going to start reading because it's 930. Um, okay. Uh, eh, eh, eh. It's so hard to draw with a friggin... <laughs> Excuse Excuse my drawing. <laughs> These are okay, hold on. No one's getting it yet. These are supposed to be straight lines, just as an FYI, but apparently my mouse won't go straight, so... Okay, there we go. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Yes, friends. Yes, friends. Woo! <laughs> oh, 
All right. Oh, I should have put like a, I had to find a. The answer was jail. Congratulations to everyone who got it. Woo. And we are going to read stories in a second. I'm just erasing this and going to save it for next time. Um, TikTok, how come you're still going? Do you have like a... I think I said that if it didn't say everything, but you got all three. Nice. Can you do me a favor and sing the first line of Somewhere Over the Rainbow? Somewhere over the rainbow. Okay. Way up high. You got most. Woo! How many did uh how many did you guys get? Tell me in the chat. How many did you tell me in the chat? <laughs> Thank you, Mojo. You got a hundred. That is so impressive. So impressive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Brooke. I was so confused. Apparently, I fell behind in the live. I've only been listening to the first few episodes of the podcast, Hannah. I love. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. You guys need to scroll live. Make sure you are live. Two out of three. I got three. Oh my God, guys, I missed stuff. Hold on, I'm missing all these things. I, don't, I wish it told me if I already read it. Mojo, Holly sent roses. Um, Bash, oh, it says Bash. Basic bitch, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you so much on TikTok. Thank you, everybody. Welcome basic bitch tendencies to the glitch community. Bree, thank you for lightning bolts. Mojo, thank you for the... Roses, beautiful berry, and Misandra, thank you for the lightnings. Mojo, thank you for the roses. How are we doing on this gift goal, TikTok? We are about halfway. We're about halfway done with the gift goal, TikTok. All right, we're about to read some stories. You guys ready? That was my favorite song when I was young. Yes. Me oh, my God, Tara, today was literally out of nowhere started singing um if i only had a brain just out of nowhere no idea why if i da, 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 da. i don't remember the words the oceans by the shore i could think of things i never thunk before and then i'd sit and think some more <laughs> da, 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 da. mags woo! Thank you so much for gifting a membership. I appreciate you so much. SRW, you got a membership. Congratulations. Yes, I am definitely squirreling right now. Squirrel. The Scarecrow was your favorite. You had a shirt that said forever. My brother always sings a song to me. If I only had a brain. <laughs> You sent me 50 lightning too, Tracy. Ooh, I must have missed it. Thank you so much, Tracy, for the 50 lightnings. Uh, and Missandra and Esther. I'm sorry if I'm missing. I'm trying my best, guys. It's different here. Thank you, Kayla, for the team bracelets. Bun Beach, what's the name of your story? And then I'm literally going to start on a story spree. Because it's 9.40 already. <laughs> My sister's brush with death. Okay. All right. Let me tell you what we have going on. <clears throat> we have Stephanie the house. Then we have... Can't read my handwriting. Rachel, I think. Rachel's stories. Then we have Allie UFO video. Ooh. Then we have That Teacher Mom, Dream Visits. Then we have Chloe, Ella Bella. Then we have Mrs. Clumsy, Punched a Shadow Figure. Then we have McKenna, my mom, confirmed her murder. Then we have Melissa, Halloween. Then I have Courtney written down, but I never saw her email address. Then we have Caitlin, Haunted Family. And then we have Bun, my sister's brush with death. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stories. 
just so you know so you're in you're in it for a little bit so make sure you're cozy you're cozy and comfy you've been gre singing Grease 2 songs Christina I'll write yours down too what what was yours Christina hold on Christina YouTube she emailed you again so you could find her I mean, unless it literally says Courtney, I'm not going to find her. <laughs> Try to hurry and make my bed before you start reading. Hurry up, Dana. Run, Dana, run. Run. Ad break before we start. Ooh, I have a button for that. My weird dreams. Writing it down. Okay, so we have 11. YouTube, here's an ad. Let me know what you get. Thank you so much for reminding me. Do you have the bird video for your cats in the background? Yes, Kristen, I do. It's cat TV on YouTube. They love it. <laughs> and because honestly, having my TV in the background um, just turned off was like very like blah. So I wanted to have something nice on there. And I feel like having like little birds is nice. One of your IG reels made my Alexa play tiptoe through the window yesterday. It scared me so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> What did we get? We got Pepsi, no ad, Mood Gummies, Intel Gaming, Farmer's Dog, no ad, Pokemon, AARP, TikTok, Timu, Margaritaville. Nice. That is horrifying, right? Horrifying. <laughs> Tina, thank you for the heart. Lindsay, thank you for the 14 lightnings. Ronnie, thank you for the um the rose tiktok friends we are about halfway done with our lightning goal please send lightnings if you can and if you are able okay and youtube we are 21 members away from unlocking the next emote just as an fyi my cat tried to attack the tv okay let me get one of these stories out because if i just keep i didn't mean to do that sorry if i just keep doing this for i'll just like squirrel for literal ever you knew exactly what it was Ooh, okay okay hold on let me just get this story the first one is the house let me write this down one i do mojo i do the house oh The house. It's not going good already. <laughs> where did you send the house? Stephanie on TikTok. Where is the house? When did you send it? Or what is the name? I mean, what's your email address or something? In the middle of the street. <laughs> Which Gmail, Stephanie? It literally says the house on the top because I don't see anything with the house. Yes, Tara, I'm happy too. You're a glooch. Glooch, 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 glooch. People don't like when I do. Well, some people like when I do chat only lives. I also really like at one point want to do like a sub only live. We're like, well, actually it could be live for everybody. Only the subs could chat. Um, on TikTok, but I feel too bad doing that because I want everybody to be included. <laughs> you know? Thank you, Bun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You already have FOMO. Sorry, I keep looking over here, guys, but this is where I have my chats right now. So I hope you're cool with it. I hope you're cool with it. Your cats are adorable. I know. Our cat loves find uh, Mrs. Rachel and finding Miss Nemo. That's so cool. Woman, you are too kind. I leave the sub only chats. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be like a nice thing to do for the subscribers, right? Because they're paying. So it's supposed to be like once in, once in a while, like you do that. Story time is right now. I'm just trying to find the first story. I'm just waiting for um, Stephanie to just check and see where she sent it from so I can find it. Yes, I like when everyone, no sub only, I can't afford it. My babies, 
No, Felicia, we're going to start stories right now. I'm just waiting. There's too many people, which is fun, but also overwhelming. Yes. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. Hashtag mom life. Um. I'm just waiting to find the first story, my friends. No. Bear with me here. Bear with us. Bear with us, please. While we wait for the stories. Oh my god, I didn't even mean for that to rhyme. They will be great, so it's okay, you have to wait. Killing it. Yes, we can get to 900k likes tonight, let's go! Other people do a sub only or VIP live like once a month. Yeah, that's what I meant, Just Mags, like a special one, like just like a once a month or something. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Gris. <laughs> where are you i might stephanie i might skip and do the next one just so we can get the stories going and then go back to yours next because i want to be able to read the stories you know what i mean uh, you know what i mean all right i'm gonna move to the next one and we'll we'll go back and do Stephanie's oh I don't know what's going on just go ahead and skip me I sent it to your anti-matrix oh I got it I just got it I literally just got it right now sometimes it takes a long time to go through so never mind we got it okay the house let's get ready let's let's read the story let's read it let's no please don't be sorry it's not your fault stephanie a lot of times it um hold on i have these little buttons here okay all right we are starting at oh my god i have to get used to having tiktok up here too All right, we're starting this at 127.51. Here we go. So hello again, I'm Stephanie. Hi. I'm going to tell the story that is pretty long and I apologize for that, but I also hope everyone enjoys it. Please never apologize. We love long stories. We moved into the house in 1995-ish and I don't really remember if it gave off bad vibes at the time. I had a brain injury, so my memories are not the best from before I was 13. All the events I'm going to share happened between the time I was 13 until I was 32. Yes, it's a span of time, so there is a lot. So it all started when I accidentally broke the ceiling, hitting my head climbing walls when I was 13. Anyway, my dad asked my older sister to clean the hole out. Oh, clean the hole out in the ceiling. When she did, she found a solid silver Taurus pendant and matching necklace. She took it out of the hole and kept it. Everyone started seeing and hearing things. My mom would hear or see us when we were at school and we would smell lavender and smoke. My brother, who is four years older than me, had mentioned it to a neighbor who had lived in our neighborhood for a long time. He told my brother that our house was moved in 1930 because the original house that sat on the plot burned to the ground. In order in being seen there was the farmer, the lady in white, which there was two in the house, the children, the unseen, the monster, and lastly, the ball of fire. What? These are all the things that they would see in the house. Wait, do you mean that the house was, it said the house was moved? Or do you mean built? Like, was your house, so the original house, the plot burned down to the ground, and then your house was built on that land? The house was moved. It was physically moved. Like, they picked it up and moved it? That's crazy. Sometimes they move houses. Yes, I have heard of that. I just wasn't sure if that was true. That's really cool. Okay. 
Everything would pop up all at once or not at all. When my grandma passed in 2004, I think things escalated. I'll fill you in with the mentioned ones and go from there. Sorry, this is going to be so long. Please don't apologize. We love it. Okay. The farmer started showing up in the upstairs closet, and we would only see him out of the corner of our eyes. We would pretend not to see him, and all of a sudden one day, he started chasing me and my sister. He liked chasing my sister more. We don't know why. One night, my sister came to my bed, and she said she felt like someone was trying to pull her under the bed, so I told her to come lay with me, and I had told her to pray so she could sleep easier. I happened to look over and saw the farmer under her bed. <gasps> I cried myself to sleep and told our parents in the morning. We were told it was our imagination. Thanks, parents. So we let it be. The night after, we started to see the first lady in white. She would walk between mine and my sister's bed and going into the other room. We called it the playroom. It's hard to explain the layout. She would pace there nightly. She was not scary, at least not to me, but my little sister, who was maybe seven or eight at the time, said she was terrified. To help with the story a little, our upstairs was like a loft space. It had small crawl spaces instead of the usual attic space. It was like a two-room area, three if you counted the space separated by the chimney stack. One day, my mom was cleaning out one of the bigger crawl spaces so she could put more Christmas decorations away, and she started finding old Tupperware containers filled with random things like watches, pictures, razors, army patches. They didn't have names on them. I think she found five or six containers in that one area. So she did what everyone who ever has unalived in a scary movie would do. <laughs> she went through all of the crawl spaces and took all the old things out. Oh my God, why? <laughs> she ended up finding at least 20 containers in total. This is about 2003-ish. Sorry for not updating the timeline sooner. Things went haywire in the house after that, from hearing bagging on the walls and screaming that seemed to come from nowhere to things being thrown. It was insane. My grandma, who was living with us, would tell us that there was a monster that lived in her closet. I'm not sure who all had seen it, but I do know that I did during the times before she got sick. I had seen the monster. It looked to be about six foot tall with yellow eyes and scaly hands like a lizard almost but had a lion's head what the fuck and it was not nice i'm not even sure what to call it except for a monster its presence was more announced i'm sorry its presence was more pronounced while my grandmother was in a nursing home she had gotten put in the home because she had a stroke when we had gotten her back to the house in february of 2003 she wasn't in the best health which made the monster kinder i think it was making her sick oh when she had passed in, I think, March of 2014, the monster seemed to try like he was hiding from other people, but I could still see him. My parents moved into my grandmother's room for about um, about three months after she had passed away in that room, and the monster really didn't do anything to them, but more to their things, like it broke a window and it would move or take things nearly constantly. One day, I had stayed home from school because I was not feeling well, and me and my mom were watching the TV show A Thousand Ways to Die. I don't know why I've seen that show. My dad was also homesick and was still in bed. The room he was sleeping in was in eyesight. Only one room away from where we are sitting at the time when we both heard the bedroom door open like someone swung it open like they were mad and proceeded to slam it again. Our desk was in the dining room, which was the room between the bedroom and the living room, and we both saw the desk chair move like someone sat in it. And then the computer turned on. My mom told me to ignore it because it's been happening every day for the past week. We're just ignoring it. <laughs> It suddenly stopped after that day, after my mom took a picture of my little brother in front of the desk, there was a translucent figure with horns standing behind him when she looked at the camera. And when she got the photo developed, the background changed to where my brother was standing outside. The figure was still behind him. What? The background of the picture changed? In the house, the basement was, I think, the worst place. Now, forgive me, but this part is going to cover a lot. So bear with me. Some time jump happens. So uh, just so I don't forget to cover it. it Jess, are you clear? Because my nose is stuffy. <laughs> um, in the basement, there was a bed, uh, a bathroom. The uh, 
let's start over. In the basement, there was a bathroom, one original bedroom, and a bedroom my mom and dad built, which my older two brothers eventually shared. We had been doing some spring cleanup, but my oldest brother happened to find a jewelry box. It was long, wooden, and thin, so it was pretty hidden. He took it out. uh, He took it to my mother, and she opened it. It was filled with old Avon jewelry. Oh, my God, Avon. Do you guys remember Avon? Old Avon jewelry and other trinkets. I had begged them to put it back because it had a weird vibe, but I was still a kid, and no one listened. They kept it. I believe she still has it. And they've since moved out of this house. Oh my God, why would they do that? <laughs> of course, Jess, of course. Um, <laughs> after the box was found, the second lady in white would roam the basement. She was mean, scratch you, grab your foot as you go up or down the stairs, etc. We used to own this beautiful marble round table. My mom would only use for Christmas or Thanksgiving. It was the nice table. <laughs> Our washer and dryer were down in the basement and it happened to be my turn that week to do the laundry. There were six kids. Every kid had a day to do laundry. Anyway, I hated the basement and I mean hated it with every part of my being. I would get headaches, lightheaded, sick to my stomach every time I went down there alone. This one time I had gone down, I was picking up something off the floor and the round table was pushed on top of me. On top of you? It landed on my ankle. I was okay, but it was super heavy and I couldn't get it off my foot. So I started yelling for help. There was eight people home. No one heard me. Finally, my dad got worried because I hadn't come upstairs in about an hour. He came to check on me and he said I had scratches all over me like I had been in a fight with a bear. He helped me up as soon as we got upstairs. Scratches disappeared. This is when he started to believe us. Thank God. God, it takes you literally getting trapped and scratched up by a fucking ghost for the, your parents to believe you. That's like insane. Insane. I lost my spot. <laughs> totally lost my spot. Mm. Uh... Got it. Okay. Something was in that house. Here's where we time jump. In 2009, I was pregnant. I was about six, I don't know, six months. I'm sorry. I was about, I don't know, six months pregnant. So July 2009, I had to go downstairs for my brother. I went downstairs willingly because someone else was down there. I got to the big step. We call it the landing stair. I suddenly felt a sharp pain in my side. So I just yelled for my brother and told him he was wanted upstairs. He answered saying, okay, He'd be up in a moment, so I just headed back upstairs. By this point, my entire midsection felt like it was on fire. I lifted my shirt and I had a scratch that went from one hip up to my rib and on the other side. I was so upset because I had no clue what had happened, but when I went to show my mom, it disappeared. Yes, the baby was fine. And the last part, sorry this was super long, My bedroom had a small walk-in closet and it was just weird. One day, I had been cleaning out my daughter's two small clothes when I noticed that there's a hole in the wall. Okay, weird. When that happens, whenever I walk back to what I was doing after when I was done, I would look in the hole and I would notice something shiny. Remembering all the other stuff that had been found, I left the shiny thing in the hole. Um, nope, good fucking job. The next day, I noticed that there's a 1930s Fake diamond necklace hanging on the closet door. Weird. I don't own anything like that, nor did my daughter. So I took it and asked my mom about it, and she said she had never seen it before. So I look in the tiny hole, and the shiny thing was gone. So I put the necklace in the hole. Next day, same thing. It's out on the doorknob again. I said out loud, hey, look, this is a really pretty necklace, but why don't you keep it? And I put it back in the hole. Next day, I noticed my sister, who's like 19, has it. I asked, where did you find that? She said it was outside. So I told her, I was outside. I told her everything. I had known about it, and she gave it to my mom, who put it in the jewelry box that was found in the basement. That night, I heard what sounded like a fire in my closet, which I thought was weird. So I opened the closet. Inside was a ball of fire around the size of a basketball. It wasn't burning anything around it. It was just hovering. It didn't speak like we do, but almost thought, oh. My cat just scared the shit out of me. I'm so sorry. (laughs) My cat 
scared the shit out of me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it was just hovering. It didn't speak like we do, but almost thought to me that it wanted the necklace back. So I went and got it. I put it in the hole again and watched this ball of fire go away. What the fuck? After that night, I'd hear screams pounding on the shut door. The door would close and lock on the inside. I don't remember how many times someone else had to let me out of the closet. Are you fucking kidding me? I would have moved out of that house so fast or I would just never go in that closet. You'd be locked in the closet? You would get locked in the closet? (laughs) It was almost too small for me to stand inside. Oh my God, my claustrophobia. And at that time, I weighed about 140 pounds. It got hot when the doors were closed and you got stuck and it was very scary. I seen people I didn't know. I heard unearthly things that are hard to explain in this kind of setting, but try to imagine hearing a whale song, high-pitched, followed by nails being dug into a chalkboard that was followed by wailing for what seemed like thousands of people. I hated that closet. I think it was slash is a portal to another world or to, uh, are you saying dimension or damnation? Dimension. I don't know. I just never liked that closet. Well, yeah, you didn't like that closet. For good fucking reason, you didn't like that closet. A portal to hell. Maybe it's a portal to hell. I just never liked that closet. Okay. Also, I had one of those big dressers that came with a mirror and it was heavy, but stunning. I would see faces in it and it did unfortunately face that closet. I had a non-talking doll start talking bless and burn that thing um and see myself walk into my room my mom also saw me walk into my room when i was out of town this is just some not all of the things that happened in that house the neighborhood was haunted as well i swear sorry if this seemed like it went everywhere it's 12 5 a.m here and i'm tired love everything you do stephanie the end holy shit right i'd never stop back in there in my life i would have pissed myself 100 percent was it my closet? Jess, I was just thinking that. Was it your closet? You know Jess is scared when her New York accent hits 100%. <laughs> it's weird that these things were in the walls when the house was moved from another location. But you don't know. I don't know if it... Because nothing happened... Okay. Mm, they may not have been in the in the walls right they may have been from the property that the house was on stephanie did you live in that house in a different place and then like you moved your house to that location or was that just a house that was moved to that location that you had never lived in before guys so many so many emotes i love it so so much Jess, thank you for the roses. Ronnie, thank you for the roses. Rika, thank you for the lightning. Ronnie, thank you for the lightning. Super Nietzsche, thank you for the heart me. Sunflower, thank you for the heart me. We moved five. They moved five years ago, YouTube. Don't worry. They moved five years ago. Bless and burn that shit. Please put that on a shirt. That's actually a great idea. Caitlin, wait, what's the new motto? Right. We found things everywhere. We moved into the house after it was placed. Okay. So the house was placed. So it could have been from the house or it could have been in the, uh, I would buy that shirt. (laughs) Turner, what's up, girl? How are you, my love? Only moved five years ago. I know. Holy, that's a straight up episode of Supernatural. 100%. Uh, Patricia, you feel like you're sitting with me? I'm not on a new phone. TikTok, if, you, if you're if you here um, and you didn't hear me say this before, I actually am using TikTok Live Studio to stream right now. So I'm using my good camera, the same one that I use for YouTube. I'm using for TikTok as well. And the microphone is for both YouTube and TikTok. <laughs> We're doing good. We're doing, that's why it looks different, TikTok. Tanya, you are really far behind in the chat, my love. Tanya, one, two, two, one, two, two. You're guessing from the drawing game we did about 30 minutes ago. (laughs) Click, make sure you click on the live. The first house burned down and this house that got moved is very haunted. It's the property. Oh, yes. Across the street on that side was this. We also found that our side of the street was a junkyard and my uncle's side of the street where he lived across the street was a cemetery. You would totally buy that shirt too. What was it? Bless and burn that shit. We'll write that down. Bless and burn that 
shit. Guys, I do have merch, by the way. Check out my merch. Link in the bio. <laughs> Spooky. No, not you, Tanya. Not you. Um, I would buy that to my shirt. I would buy that shirt and wear it to my in-laws who are ridiculously religious and hate swearing. I love it. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. New merch. My cat just scared the shit out of you because she jumped up there. Bless and burn that shit. <laughs> thank you, Turner. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, we are going to vote on this story. So we are doing, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no, YouTube, TikTok, happy face or sad face? Let's go, friends. Um... Guys, <laughs> oh my god, I totally was just going to say something and then I completely forgot what I was going to say. This is totally, I, I just want to say, Stephanie, like I have no fucking idea how you lived in that house for so long. How did you go in that closet? Why did you even use that closet? I would not be using that closet. I would like fucking close that closet off, seal the whole goddamn thing, sheetrock, fucking sheetrock it up, close it up. It's not a closet anymore, and all my stuff would just be in my room. I don't care if my room didn't hold it. I would just pile it on the floor instead of going in that goddamn closet. You blessed it constantly. Burn the damn house down. <laughs> my book has already had all the stories chosen, Patricia. However, it's already, like, you know, out there. They're working on it and stuff. However, I am collecting stories. Like, I do label stories when they're really good um, for the potential next book. If we do a next book, which would be cool. Did you get rid of the doll? Yes, yeah, she blessed and burned it. That's when she said blessed and burned that shit. <laughs> it definitely was a toxic relationship. She didn't want to be there, but it kept a knocking. I was also the person who sent the picture of the kiddo with the ghost in the background. That was you. Was that in that house, Stephanie? Yo, that was crazy, that story. I mean, that picture. All right. All right. Oh, guys, I'm so dumb. Guys, we're at 187K. I forgot this is supposed to say 200K now. Keep tapping TikTok. We are almost ready to play the drawing game again. All right, let me put this story away. Whoops. Thank you so much for sharing. Yes, I'm going to give you guys an ad really quick. Thank you, Crash. YouTube, tell me what you get. Um, hello, Margarita. Your lighting is great right now. Is your tattoo purple? Yes, it is purple. Purpley purple. Thank you for saying that. It was the same house. Stephanie, that's so crazy. <gasps> oh my God. Misandra, thank you so much for the 82 lightning bolts. Jade, thank you for the lightning bolts. 1 800 contacts. AGI, you only missed one story. eBay, Arby's, Timu. Yes, thank you. I sent you a medium to long story a couple of weeks ago. I have a really a nice list of stories right now. So we're going to go through these um, and then I'll see if we have time for more. Um, but I'm probably going live tomorrow night as well. Regina, you can't comment on a comment on YouTube. That's actually a really annoying feature. You just have to like at them like you can type at in their name, which is really annoying. It's very that is a YouTube needs to get on that. Hello, Lindsay. I'll be there. Kayla, same for you. Um, I have um, I have a whole list of stories we're going to read, and we'll see where we are after. Okay, JC Penny. Okay, number two, TikTok. Rachel, are you here? We are reading your stories. Rachel, Emma. I want to make sure you're here before we look for the story. Yes, you're here. Perfect, perfect. Let's get this one out. So this one is called... Oh, this you gave me your email address. I 
I think I definitely spelled that wrong. <laughs> I think I spelled it wrong. When did you send? Hi. Yours are handwritten? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to read that. <laughs> ages ago. Okay, hold on. Oh, ages ago. Okay, I see three. Is it all the same one or different ones? This was ages ago. Oh. These are three different ones, right? 200k. Woo -woo. Okay, I see three different ones, but they're all they're all shorter, so we'll just read them all. Okay. After we read Rachel's stories, we'll do the drawing game, okay? I want to remind you, TikTok, I'm sorry, it's not the same. The first one is Haunted House. Let me bop you guys over here. And bop you guys like that. Okay. When I was around, oh wait, we're starting this at 151. I'll get used to this setup, don't worry. I'll get used to it. When I was around five years old, I shared a room with my little sister, who was two. She slept on a cot on one side, and I had a single bed on the opposite side. I used to tell my mom all the time that there were other people who shared our house with us, but naturally she would shrug it off and say that I had a good imagination. One day, I told her that we needed to save the little boy in our room because an angry, dark man was trying to get him. She showed enthusiasm and replied, okay, make sure you help him. Later that day, when it was bath and bedtime we were getting dressed and i told my mom that the angry dark man keeps hiding under my sister's cot and i didn't like it my mom didn't want to keep me up that night so she went over to the cot and crouched down to show me it was okay she put her hand under the cot and waved it around reassuring me it was just empty space oh my god i just have so much anxiety i thought that maybe something was going to grab her hand my sister was watching also at this time and she wanted to copy our mom so I don't know why I'm really scared about this. So she went over to where my mom was crouched down and got under the cot to join in. All I could see was the man's dark eyes and I just stood there frozen, unable to move. Suddenly the eyes disappeared and my little sister started screaming and crying and panicking. My mom was able to set her down, but I was so freaked out. My mom wanted to put my sister to bed, but she kept on screaming and wouldn't lay down, which my mom said was out of character and so strange as my sister was a good sleeper. I have goosebumps. So I built up the cards to tell her everything I saw. That night, we slept in my mom's bed and moved out shortly after. We talked about it a few years later because I remembered the little boy's face randomly and asked my mom about my friend, and she told me the entire story. Oh, my God. Ooh, I definitely have so many goosebumps, guys. Oh, my God. So many goosies. I know. Whew. Okay, we're going to vote on all three of them after um, because she has three short ones. So we'll vote on all three of them together. So this was the first one. Oh, hold on one second. Uh... That was scary. <gasps> oh, wait. That was scary. <laughs> Um, I know Morgan. They really are. I swear we need some whole, uh, some wholesome stories occasionally. Some of these are nightmare fuel. <laughs> Guys, I'm like loving all my buttons. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> it's like a late night radio show. Um, yours is positive. Awesome, McKenna. Thank you. I'm so glad about that. All right, we're getting. This one is the second one. I know I have to think of what other sounds I want to do. All right, this one. Oh my God. It literally says this one is horrifying. Like that's what it's called. 
This one is horrifying is the name of it. Like, what are you even doing? Oh, my God. OK, we're starting this one at 155.05. Pass. Mojo says pass. <laughs> Morgan. When I was younger, around eight, me and my younger brother used to go out and hang out with a group of kids from our neighborhood. There's a graveyard on our street that we used to sneak into and hang out in. We were always respectful to the graves and we never did anything to harm or disrespect the dead. Anyway, someone came up with a game that we would play to communicate with the spirits. We would use a coin and ask yes and no questions. I feel like that's an actual thing, isn't it? One particular day, the last day I played this game, my brother and I headed home because our family were heading out to family dinner. While getting ready to go out, me and my brother were in the bathroom brushing our hair slash teeth. I turned and looked at my brother and his eyes were completely white. No pupils. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. I hit him and told him to stop. After a few seconds, he shook his head and gasped loud i asked him what the hell did you do that for he had no idea what i was talking about he had no recollection of what happened to him we've never spoken about it since but i think something followed him home and like what fucking possessed him for a minute that was also really scary that was scary i didn't like it <laughs> so many emotes see so many emotes on youtube so many Oh my God. <sighs> Thank you for subscribing, uh, Shib and Richa. Thank you so much for subscribing, friends. Oh my God. I'll never play anything in the graveyard. I am good. Thank you, Flipped Fox. Thank you. Blah. That's a note for me. That is a note. Yes, thank you, my TikTok subscribers. Put your emotes in the chat. Okay, I'm going to get the last one. Hold on. These these stories are like literally terrifying. Why are these so scary? They're short, but like so terrifying. There's so much scary stuff. <laughs> Rachel said, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to write glitch for this one. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> she should write short thriller books. Ooh, Caitlin. Caitlin said, Rachel, that you should write short thriller books. Okay, we're reading this last one. Glitch. Uh, one, 57, 49. Literally had a glitch happen last night. I recently changed my mobile number. I was in the process of updating my new number with places I come in contact to, with regularly. For example, the hospital, our doctor's surgery, my bank, etc. I got through to my middle child's school. I explained I need to update my details. She asks me for my daughter's name and class. She confirmed I was mom by asking for my first and last name. Then she asked for the new number. I gave her the first, second, third, and fourth number. When the administration lady I was talking to started reading the same numbers with me, at the exact same time, I paused for the last two and she read them out correctly. I was completely baffled. It is impossible that she knew my new number. There's no way it had already updated as I had only had that new number activated for an hour or so prior. Plus, how would it even update in like the school computer? Like that doesn't happen. They're not attached to Verizon or some shit. I'm saying Verizon because that's my service, but who knows what yours is. I giggled, apologized for wasting her time. She laughed and said goodbye. After the call, I double-checked my phone call records to make sure I hadn't called before. I just forgot and just forgot. And it wasn't in my call log. It's so bizarre. I don't know how my new number got there without me adding it. Oh, wait. Lita said our kid's school has caller ID. Maybe they had caller ID. Maybe it was just caller ID. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Didn't even think of that. Verizon Stephanie's like, we're having defo caller ID. Oh my God. Okay. We figured that one out. We might have figured that one out. Maybe. Possibly. But they could have also not had caller ID. We could have figured that one out. 
But we haven't figured out the other two that were fucking terrifying because there's nothing to figure out. They're just fucking terrifying. Okay. Whew. All right. We are going to vote on those stories. Maybe I'm in Australia and the lady never said that. Oh, Australia. Australia could be different. Uh, Rachel, you're in Australia. What time is it over around Australia? All right. We are going to... Did you... Uh, 119 p.m. Appreciate those stories. Yes or no on YouTube. Happy. Wait, hold on. Still getting used to this. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. And oh my God, TikTok. I love you guys so much, but we have not even we've we've been online for like almost two hours. Has it been two hours? How long have we been? We've been online for two hours and we still have not hit the first give goal. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening, TikTok? Thank you guys. Oh, TikTok. Oh, I did it. It already ended. Did the poll already end? Guys, did the poll go up? Maybe I didn't press it. I'm going to try it again. Is it working now? <laughs> Sorry, I'm technical difficulties. I'm getting used to this new setup. I will get used to it. I promise. Scooby-Doo, thank you so much for sending lightning. Vicky and beautiful Barry and, and Vicky again. Thank you for sending lightning. Thank you for sending roses, Ronnie, Patricia, Cheryl. Thank you for the lightnings. Thank you, Shuna. Thank you, Ronnie. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> oh, it did now. I deleted the old poll. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Thank you guys for sending lightnings. Patty Cakes and Shuna and Cheryl, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Do a new one so I can hit yes. Okay. Auntie M, I wrote a lengthy comment on your latest video and I feel it's very important the bunker person hears it. Okay, Jocelyn, thank you for letting me know that. Um, I did email them and let them know that I put that up so they should be looking for the messages. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Okay. Uh, we are going to play the drawing game before we go to the next story because we hit 200,000 likes on TikTok. We also need to change this to, whoops, change this to 300K. And let me see, let me see. Um, hold on. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting used to this, guys. I'm getting used to the new setup. I'll get there. Bear with me. Thank you for bearing with me. You made it. Hello. Okay, we're going to play the drawing game. We have a Maui toy and my two-year-old just calls him, you're welcome. <laughs> Friends, how many people do we have on YouTube right now? And how many people do we have on TikTok? TikTok, we have 427, nice. 144. Friends on TikTok, we are also on YouTube in case you're interested in hopping over there. It's Tessica Vision, same name is here. Please. Glitch beta testing night. <laughs> Okay, we're playing the drawing game. TikTok, it's going to be a little bit different if you weren't here before for the drawing game. Um, we're not using it through TikTok because TikTok Live Studio does not have that option. So I'm going to just be drawing on my screen. You're going to see and everyone is going to throw your guesses in the comments and I'll just wait a couple of seconds until everyone's guessing and then I will tell you the answer. But unfortunately, there is no like thing that's going to count if you're first, second, third, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. 
Rena, thank you so much for sending your first gift of a lightning bolt. Call me sweetheart. Thank you for lightning. Ronnie, thank you for lightning. Miss Sandra, Ash, Reese, everyone who's sending lightnings, thank you so much. Jess, thank you so much. Okay. All right. So first we got to get, uh, hold on. That's this one and this one. Okay. You got me a new follower and fan. Thank you, Shy. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to play three rounds of the drawing game. Let's see what this word is going to be. Hmm. Okay, excuse my drawing. It's really, really bad. Here we go. Oh, hello, Isabel. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to try this. My mouse just won't go straight. This is me literally trying to make it go straight. Like, I'm trying to do a straight line, and it just won't. So it's going to be wavy. All my pictures are going to be wavy. Just deal with it. <laughs> oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to remember not to press the control button. <laughs> okay. I really need to... I can't draw with this mouse. It's literally impossible. <laughs> is anyone getting this? It is not a basketball court. <laughs> Okay. Oh, some people on YouTube are getting it. YouTube is getting it. YouTube is getting it. Okay. TikTok is starting to get it. TikTok is starting to get it. I love that people are saying it's a basketball court. <laughs> okay. The answer was blanket. The answer was blanket. Guys, I need to figure out another way to draw. Using this mouse, and I don't, why is the mouse not going straight? Like, I'm moving straight, but the mouse is not moving straight. I wonder if I... Nope, that doesn't help either. Maybe I need a mouse pad or something? I legit thought it was a golf cart. <laughs> okay, next one. TikTok, are you behind or something? Are you guys behind? It looks like a basketball court, okay? All right, the next one. Dry erase board. Well, then I have to like, how am I going to do that? I have to draw it and then hold it up. I don't know. The bottom of the mouse, clean it. All right. Next one. All right, let's see if you can figure out what these are. Ready? Oh, I can use different colors here, which is helpful. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You guys are doing good. Demon. <laughs> it's not a demon. <laughs> you guys are doing good. We're getting a lot of right answers on TikTok and YouTube. I feel like I drew that so small. I have this whole area to draw, and I'm drawing, like, these tiny little things. Yes, the answer was cherries. All right. Let's do another one. One more. One more. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one. I feel like TikTok is behind or something. That's okay. <laughs> um... Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to try. Here we go. Oh, my God. Wait, no. I didn't want that color. Not this color. All right. I'm going to try to use the shapes, too. Maybe the shapes will help.
Okay. What's that? <laughs> okay, I mean, you guys are close. Okay, okay, okay. We got some people on YouTube getting it. Come on, TikTok, you got this. You got this, TikTok. YouTube is definitely getting it. YouTube is definitely getting it. Come on, TikTok. You're killing me. <laughs> TikTok, nobody? Okay, someone got it. Someone got it on TikTok. Two people got it on TikTok. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the answer was beak. The answer is beak, friends. Beak. Tell me how many you got. Tell me how many you got in the chat. How many did you get right? You got the first two? Woo, nice. Three out of three. Thank you for the I see you. Two, three out of three, three out of three. Guys, I feel like TikTok is super behind. Are you guys super behind? They're still guessing right now. I don't know why they're still guessing. Am I just seeing chat super behind because there's so much chat? That's what they get for making fun of us. <laughs> I'm going to wait a second because I feel like they are not caught up in their chat. I wonder if there's a delay on TikTok for some reason, which is so weird because normally wasn't it the other way around? <laughs> I think you're slow on your end because we had guest beak and you said no one had it. Maybe my chat's coming through slow for some reason. I'm going to have to look into that. That's, let, let's write it down. Just, just one million things for me to look into. TikTok chat behind. Okay. I hope I can read all my handwriting. TikTok chat behind. Bless and burn that shit. Don't know. Color of face. Desk vid pick. Desk. Oh, to show you guys. Oh my God, I can't read my own fucking handwriting. Um. It's fine, perfectly fine. The video there is in sync. It's my chat. I think it's my chat that's behind. Moon, how are you, darling? Okay, TikTok, keep tapping that screen. We are 236,000 likes. When we get to 300,000, we will play that drawing game again. 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 And YouTube, but we need 21 more members in order to unlock the next emote. I'm doing great. Okay. I can see you. Get a Wacom digital drawing pad. Wacom digital drawing pad. I'm probably not going to remember that one. My YouTube is Tessica Vision. Friends on TikTok, if you want to hop over, I'm also live on YouTube right now. You can see the stories on YouTube when I'm reading them. Um, it is Tessica Vision. Same name as here. Hello, Destiny. Yes, TikTok is being slow on my end, and I don't know why. Okay, uh, is Aaliyah with a UFO video. Did you send it to me? Did I get it? I didn't get it. Where did you send it? Friend, uh, where did you send it? Because I didn't get it. My email is always a little bit slow with some people sending things for some reason. No, uh, I love you. Thanks for the fun game. I have to leave before story time because I'm cut off of scary things tonight. Okay, goodbye. I love you so much. 
you just find me on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and type in Tessica Vision. We need a new gift goal. Okay, give me one second. I'm just trying to find this UFO video. Where's the UFO video? Oh, wait, I found it. I'm so stupid. I found it. Never mind. I found it. Okay, love you, Shunat. Okay, I found it. Oh my god, the UFO video, guys. You're right, I'm not stupid. Um, let me just do a gift goal here. Thank you so, so much to everybody that contributed to this gift goal. I appreciate you so much. Okay, let's put up, uh, let's put up. Let's put up. Not that I can see them. The panther paws. I'm so sad that I don't see the panther paws. I got to figure this out. Why I can't see the goals. All right. New gift is, new gift goal is panther paws. <laughs> Courtney, yes. If I read your story in a video, um, I will always email you and let you know. <gasps> Wait, I saw that. I saw it this time. I saw it in chat. I guess maybe the little ones I don't see in chat, in my chat box. I just see them up there like the, but I saw the chat. I saw this one. That's great. <gasps> Thank you, Revy. Hey, Stephanie. You don't have to hop over for it. I'm actually going to be able to put it on the screen here too. My accent is strong tonight. <laughs> Revy, holy shit. Thank you so, so much. Jen A, thank you so much for the panther paw as well. Okay, let me get this UFO thing up. I got it for you. I feel like I need a third fucking monitor right now. Let me download this video. Oh, it's turned. How do I turn it? How do I... How do I... Can I turn it? I don't know how to turn this. Thank you for subscribing, Kate, Katia, Katia, Katia. No worries at all, Revy. I did save it. I downloaded it. And when I open it downloaded, it is side, it's turned sideways. But it's not a picture, it's a video. It's a video. <laughs> Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Oh, it fixed itself. Okay, hold on. Let me see if this works for TikTok. Uh, okay. Can you guys see it? TikTok, you can see it, right? You guys can see it also? Perfect. All right, here we go. Ready? We're, we're pressing. Perfect. Wait, look at these, like... Whoa. <gasps> Wait, what's that one? What was that one? Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> I'm working on it, Kayla. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I have it on repeat. I have it on repeat. Hold on, because I'm seeing like lights over here that are like this, right? Like, these are freaking me out. This. But then what is this? 
Oh, that's the car light reflecting. Okay, that's the car light reflecting. So we're looking at this, right? But the little lights, right? Like, look, they're like a bunch in like all, you can definitely, it looks like that's like some sort of like disky shape. Like that does not look like a, um, and the one above, right? This up here. Well, this one I'm only seeing like, this one I'm only seeing one blinking light. So I feel like that may could be a plane. What state is this in? Um, Aaliyah, where is this? She was in, she was in TikTok. There's a singular one and it looks too tall to be a tower. Are you talking about this? Like this one that is moving, right? So I think that could potentially be, because it starts here and then it moves here. So that could potentially be a, um, yes, YouTube, you can zoom. I don't know if TikTok can zoom. Um, a plane, but this one is what's getting me. It's like all these little lights and it looks like it's in like a, that is really, really cool. My UFO buddies were like that. Can I put it in Discord? My fan just turned off. Ooh. No zoom on TikTok. Um, is Aaliyah in here? That's my question. Let me see if I can pop this in Discord while you guys are looking at it. Hold on one second. Uh, this is in... Nope. No, here it is, UFO. I'm putting it in Discord. So if you guys wanna look in Discord and you can take a, a better, closer look in Discord possibly, the Discord is dsc.gg slash antimatrix. Um, Chris or Tanya, you can put it in the chat. Maybe someone can pin it in TikTok or you can check in the link in my, link in my bio. I don't think you can zoom on TikTok, but you can zoom on, um, you can zoom on, um, I wish I could zoom. I can't zoom on my computer for you or I'll say what. Thank you very much. The very top of the screen, this one maybe could be a plane. You can zoom. It won't let me zoom. I guess it depends. Some people are saying you can, some people are saying you can't. That's freaking crazy though. Is Has Aaliyah here? Did she miss her own thing? Aaliyah, where are you? Where are you, Aaliyah? You're being beckoned. <laughs> she might have fell asleep. You know, it takes me a long time to get through these stories, you know? Because I, I do a lot of this all the time, you know? Squirrel! <laughs> oh, you can't let go of the screen once you zoom. Okay. Ooh, thank you very much, Tanya. Um, okay. That's really, really cool. I mean, obviously we'll vote, but I feel like we don't even need to vote. It's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, did you like that video? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? I think I did it this time. Did it work? Boom. Why Tessica? I made the name Tessica Vision a very long time ago, and I also call myself Jessica Tessica. I do not have a middle name. Um, thank you so much, beautiful Barry, for the panther paw. Um, I do not have a middle name, and so I made, gave myself the name Tessica. It sounds really funny, but I actually saw it in a an obituary that I was typing up when I worked at a newspaper, the, the name Tessica. And I was like, oh my God, I could be Jessica Tessica. Um, that's really it. No deep explanation. Explanation. Thank you, Christina. Yes, YouTube, I will give you an ad in just a second while I'm getting ready for the next story. The next story, it's from YouTube. It's that teach teacher mama. Are you still here, that teacher mama? So we can read your story of dream visits. TikTok, you are, are halfway to the next like goal for the next um, drawing game, halfway to. Thank you so much, Miss Sandra. Yes, you are. Perfect. Okay. 
Dream visits. Dream visits. Yum. I will. I will. Don't worry. We'll get you both on the regular. On the regular. Boom, 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 boom. All right, YouTube, I love you so much. Here's an ad. Let me know what you get. We are going to end this poll. We are going to pop this down. Here's my face. <laughs> I feel technically special. Wait, why do you feel technically special? Thank you so much, Emily. Yes, the gold frog is from Pier 1 from a, a million years ago. Wayfair, Instacart. No ad again for you. Nice. Nice. I couldn't zoom all. Oh, I put it in Discord. Guys, I put the video in Discord so you can check it out in Discord yourself. You can zoom in. You can check it out. You can comment on it. You can chat about it. Please join the Discord and hang out with us in there. Mood Cannabis Gummy. No ad, no ad, no ad. Pet Insurance, AG1, Kroger, Instacart, Wayfair. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching. The ads for me, I really super appreciate you. Is Kali sleeping over there? Yes, she is. Look at that. Look at that little Kali girl. Can you guys see her? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Getting the next story. Why do we do ads? Natalia, uh, Natalie, sorry. Natalie, um, ads on YouTube is uh, one way that I as a streamer can make money from streaming. Um, and... Normally, YouTube just puts the ads in there for you, right? Like, they'll put them whenever they feel like it. But I don't want the stories to get interrupted. Like, I don't want to be in the middle of reading a story and then you're getting an ad in the middle of me reading a story. So I place them in there manually. And I always forget. So all of my subscribers on YouTube, because they're so amazing, this community is so amazing and supportive and they want me to do well and they want to support me, they remind me to do an ad. So I insert an ad randomly. Yes, like Haley said on YouTube, please, if you have not already, back out of the live and please hit the thumbs up button and please share the live. It's very, very helpful for me and I appreciate it so much. TikTok, please make sure you're tapping that screen. We are halfway to the next like goal where we can play the drawing game again. And please share the live as well. Um, if you don't get ads, uh, sometimes people just don't get ads. Like ads won't go to everyone all the time. But also if you have YouTube premium, you won't get any ads. Monopoly Go, HBO Max. Thank you for subscribing, Andrew. What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting the next story. I'm so silly. I am so silly. Red on live. We're going to get the hang of this, you guys. I'm going to be a pro by tomorrow night. All right, we're doing dream visits. Let's find it. When did you send this? May I ask when you sent it? I'm having trouble finding everyone's stories today. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. My butt. My butt. No, you may not ask. Never. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful Barry. I believe in you. Thank you, friends. Uh, no, you didn't miss anything after the video. We're going to read another story right now. Can someone please uh, in TikTok put the Discord name up? Um, teacher, teacher mama. Where are you, my darling? When did you send it? Because I'm having trouble finding it. Or what's the name of the email address that you sent it to? Like the first part of your email address. Call me RJ. <gasps> Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. Oh, your Glitch community plus member. You get videos early. Everybody, welcome. Call me RJ to YouTube. You responded. I did not see it. It didn't come through. Why didn't it come through? I'm not seeing it. It's not coming through, teacher mama. <sighs> I 
<laughs> Just getting a piece of our tortilla while we're figuring this out. Because I am very hungry. I had a literal peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner today. <laughs> I was like in a rush. And then I didn't know what to eat. Thank you for subscribing. I can copy paste and resend it to the anti-matrix one if that's easier. That's all I saw again. I don't know if you responded to something else. It might be like, um... It might be, um, like, deleting your comment for some reason. You're getting snacky, too. In May 2023. Okay. Hold on. Let me look. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to find it. I will find it. Holy shit, I have a lot of stories. <laughs> I have so many stories. Oh, God. I'm not going to find it. Do you mind forwarding it to me? To the anti-matrix email so I can get it right in the top because I am having a lot of trouble. I'm so sorry. We are having so many issues today. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, 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 um. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Thank you, Turner. My ass. My ass. I need my donut. Oh my god. I need my donut. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so hungry. <laughs> mm. My late now Girl School cookie had to be postponed. Oh. No Girl Scout cookies? Which ones did you get? Katrina. I'm not married. I'm divorced, but I'm also engaged. You're probably hungry because you're eating a plain tortilla. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. Tagalongs and Thin Mints. Thin Mints are the best. Thank you, Call Me RJ. I got it. We got it. Woo! We got the email. All right. All right. Bobby. All right. I never seen him. You never seen him? He's been on camera a couple times. We call him Uncle Matrix. He has an emote. Guys, put the Uncle Matrix emote in the TikTok chat. We love long ones. We love long ones. Oh, shit. I didn't write down what time the UFO video was. What time do you think that was? <laughs> God damn it, Jessica. There's Uncle Matrix, that handsome baby. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Karen and Jasmina. Hello, Anna. <laughs> Katrina, you're so funny. Okay, uh, on YouTube, Joey Farmer. You know that's Moon. From my old job, one of my one of my favorites. Um, he said that's actually me because legitimately they look almost exactly alike. Like they look almost exactly alike. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. 
That's why it's one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, we know Joey Farmer in here. Thank you for following, zombie. Fluffy Flamingo, thank you for sending uh, the tiny diny. Oh, Revy, thank you for the, those other panther paws. Back from the gas station. My YouTube chat is behind. I think all my chats are behind. Maybe my computer can't handle all these chats. Oh my God, thank you so much, TikTok. We finished our gift goal. Woo! Thank you, Music jun Junkie and Emily and Missandra and Reese. You guys are amazing. Let's pop up. Let's pop up. We haven't done Lucy the Llama in quite a bit. We'll pop up a Lucy the Llama. Okay. Hey, hey. You think my YouTube chat is behind or you think you guys are behind on the live? I have theater. Good night, chicken and quaffles. All right, we're reading. We're reading. I gotta get my ass in gear here. It's um, it's a lot. Oh my god, you guys, are you kidding me right now? Are you like literally squirrel kidding me right now? Because it is almost eleven o'clock, and I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more stories to read. I'm definitely not going to bed at 12 o'clock tonight. Oh my God, what a dummy. Holy smokes. Okay, we're going to get these going. We're going to be going. <laughs> we're going to go faster. Here we go. <laughs> Time literally flies so fast. I'm getting out of practice. It's because I talk too much. <laughs> Speed round. Here we go. All right. And the drawing games. Then we do the drawing games and it's like a whole thing. Okay. Dream visits. Two. 37. 16. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. One. I am now a 31-year-old widow and single mom of five. When my husband passed away almost two years ago, he had been working in another state and was in a terrible car accident where he was pronounced dead at the scene. And I was told it happened on impact, so it was very quick. I'm so sorry. We had been living in our current apartment for two months before his passing, and I never noticed anything strange or unexplainable prior. After he passed, however, things started happening almost immediately. Things would go missing and then appear in plain sight after no one has been home. Knocking would come from the living room wall that only connects to the kitchen. Things would move on their own and we brushed it off as them falling, but it was more like being thrown. Oh my God. I had a feeling it was him, but I still felt a little uneasy just in case it was a negative spirit. I'm sorry, a negative energy feeding on my immense grief. That's actually a possibility. I'm glad you thought about that. About two months after he passed, I had a dream where I was sitting on a couch with him in front of a big window at dusk. He hugged me and said to me, Ashley, what happened? Nothing is right. Where is my room? Why is everything different? I told him, you died in a car accident two months ago. He said he had to go to work and walked back up to the house moments later with his hard hat in his hands and looking down. He sat back down next to me and said, Looks like I don't have a job anymore. Oh my God, this is like really sad. My response was, well, yeah, you haven't been there in two months. I explained to him what had happened the night of his accident and he just held me and said, I'm so sorry, Ashley. His sister walked in the room and he hugged her too and that's all I remember. I've had vivid dreams of my whole life and usually remember them, but this one and the other two I'm sharing were hyper-realistic and are etched in my mind like an actual memory of an event that happened. I've been lucky enough to have a few more dreams with him since, but not quite as distinct and meaningful. Oh my God, he didn't realize that he was dead. I'm so sorry if you're a loss. <laughs> Dream number two, when my uncle passed away from lung cancer during, oh my gosh, when my uncle passed away from lung cancer during COVID, I wasn't able to find his funeral, to be at his funeral or visit before he passed because of COVID. But I prayed for him often and I spoke to family, seeing him on the phone or through my dad to stay updated. The first time I was able to go visit his house, my grandmother's house after he passed, I was excited to see everyone but knew it wouldn't feel the same without him there. The night before I left, I had another very vivid dream where I walked from my grandmother's living room into her kitchen and he was seated at the island on a bar stool facing away from me. 
He heard me come in and turned around with the biggest smile on his face. He was younger and looked very healthy and happy. He reached his arms out and just gave me a big hug. When I woke up the next morning, it had felt so real and I just knew it was his way of getting to see me that day since he wouldn't be there. Oh, dream number three. So I have a friend I've known since high school. We are both adults with busy lives, but we have stayed connected through Facebook. She had a daughter who had been born deaf and some medical needs and sadly passed away a few years ago when she was eight. I was lucky enough to have met her and she was such an incredible soul. Fast forward to now and my friend has a son who is under a year old. A few months ago, I had a dream that I ran into this friend out shopping for home decor in a big warehouse. We were just talking, small talking, catching up and she went to home. She went to walk home <clears throat> for which some reason was right behind this warehouse. I decided to go with her and help her carry her things. She walked up to put the things aside and left the door open. Her daughter ran out and down the steps and ran to me. She was so excited to tell me how much she loves being a big sister. She said, I love playing with my brother and being loud with him. I love him so much. I just smiled so big and loved watching her excitement as she jumped around and expressed her love for her baby brother. I also felt like her saying she loves being loud with him implied that she is no longer deaf. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I remember just feeling overwhelming joy. I can still feel just remembering the dream. I woke up feeling very flustered and anxious and went through the motions getting my kids ready for school because all I could think about was telling my friend. I felt like a direct message for her. I messaged her on Facebook and said, can you please call me if you have time? I have something crazy happen I need to tell you about. It was like I couldn't think about or do anything else until I told her. It was the first time I've had someone else's loved ones come through in a dream, but I felt honored to be able to see her and to get to give my friend the message. I have a few good ghost stories from when my son was younger too, but I'll save them for another email. I love your channel. Hope you enjoy these. The end. Oh my goodness. These were so beautiful. I mean, I'm very sorry for all of your losses, but these were really, this was really, really beautiful. Something that we really, really needed to hear after the scary ones. Yes, I love that you were able to see someone else's loved one and give a message. I had that happen to me one time. And I love that it felt really good to be able to pass a message on. And it felt very validating for what happened to be accurate about the person, you know? I'm crying. These are so sad, but extremely beautiful. I know they were such good stories. Thank you for subscribing, Jacob. Oh, so sweet. Chills. Prayers to y'all on this story. Love them. Yes, yes, yes. Those dreams are actually just visits that hit different. You can feel them. Yes, of course they're not actual. I mean, they're dream. They're you're dreaming, but people are they're real. The people are visiting are real. 100%. Thank you so much. I forgot to mention the activity stopped after I told him, so I'm hoping that he passed on after your husband, right? Yes. I'm sure you helped him. He's probably just stuck. He didn't know what was going on. Oh, I want to dream like this with my dad so badly. If someone gets a message from someone random, would you listen? I would. If it resonated with me, yes. But it would have to resonate with me. Like, for example, um, like this one, this was her friend. So she's going to believe her, right? If it was a random person, like, for example, the one that I got was I had a dream about. So one of my aunts, her husband passed away. Um, this was a while ago and I had a dream with him in it. I've never had a dream with him in it at all. And all I remember is like, I was trying to, he was on the phone, he was leaving messages or something. And he kept like si making up stupid songs and singing stupid songs. And my mom was like, oh, he's so annoying. He just keeps making up these stupid songs. And like, I didn't really know the man at all. Um, and then I, I told my aunt this that I had this dream about him. And she was like, oh my God, he used to drive me crazy going around the house singing these stupid little songs that he would make up all the time. So it was very validating for me. Like, okay, that was actually like him. And I'm passing this on that he's like saying hello, basically saying hi. Um, so if, if a stranger gave me a message like that and it resonated with me like that, you know what I mean? If it was something a little more specific like that, I would definitely believe. I probably believe anyway, just because I, I choose to believe in like everything because it's life is better that way. But I never know what to do because you have them. I see and hear things about other people's past loved ones while I'm out shopping. <sighs> That's rough. That's a hard one, right? Because you know how people are going to react like randomly in the store. 
Yes, that is precious. Yeah, it is really cool, Hannah, right? Yes. The someone random could be your spirit guide. I love all this. Okay, let, let's vote. Bye, Bricka. Bri Brika. Brika. Bye, Brika. <laughs> love you so much. We're at 304. Did we hit 300K while I was uh, doing that? All right. Um, okay, we're going to vote. And we gotta we gotta keep it rolling because Angie's gonna be up late tonight. Um, did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? Um, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so so much for sharing. And while you guys are, what did I just do? I don't know what I did. While you guys are voting, um. Chloe, are you still here on YouTube for Ella Bella? Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. I want to make sure before I get your story up. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe, Chloe. Beautiful Berry, thank you so much for the llama, the second llama. Claudia, thank you for the rose and the love you. Chloe, where are you? Oh, where are you, Chloe? I'm like losing my voice a little bit over here. I'm having to really push it out. Chloe, are you here? <clears throat> okay. Oh, guys, we got 100% on that. 100% on that story 100 percent on youtube and on tiktok my cat wants to get out i'm gonna give chloe one more second to check um if chloe's not here hey claudia if chloe's not here uh mrs clumsy are you still here mrs clumsy for punch to shadow figure i really hope because i really want to read that one new pov unlocked oh <laughs> you're here sweet thank you so much mrs clumsy Punched a shadow figure. Salvage, thank you so much for the fire. K King, thank you so much for the llama. Oh, whoops. I guess Chloe is not here anymore, so we will skip her story. We'll do punched shadow figure. Let me just let my cat out. Hold on one second. Oh my god. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm so stuck. Oh my god. Huh. <laughs> huh. The chair is so comfy. Um Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna reach. We're gonna read. We're gonna read Punch by a Shadow Figure first, and then we will do the drawing game again for the 300k. TikTok, keep tapping that screen. Sage, welcome back. So let me find it. Okay. This one was a great story. We read it on live and we are popping it over here. And then we are going to find punched a shadow figure, which is exciting. Punched a shadow figure. Mm, sounds like it. <clears throat> sounds like it's a scary one. All right, punch shadow figure to 49.26. Here we go, friends. Hi, Andy. Hi. Thanks for reading. Thank you for sending. So I'm not usually phased by the paranormal stuff. I've been seeing things since as far back as I can remember. In fact, the first paranormal experience I remember is having a shadow man stand in my bedroom door when I was around six. She had long curly hair, but that's all I could make out. She was a total shadow, just stood there staring at me. I put my cover over my head. I put my covers over my head and went back to bed, but that's not the story I mean to tell. 
A few years ago, I was renting a small townhouse. Like I said before, I'm used to seeing things, so my standard go-to is to ignore or flat out tell them that they aren't welcome and to go. So any creepy thing that happened there didn't really phase me. Well, one night I'm sleeping. Our headboard is on the same wall as the door frame, so if I lay on my left side, I can see light from the hall with the door cracked. I swear I'm hearing stuff. It's probably my cat. <clears throat> it was the middle of the night and I remember my eyes darting open and in my face, I mean, less than a palm's length away was a shorter shadow figure. I remember she had pigtails. You could tell her hair was set that way, but she was still completely shadowed. I've never swung at something so fast in my life. If she had been solid, I'm sure that punch would have knocked her out, scared the ever-loving spit out of me, and then my husband, since I jumped, oh, and then my husband, sorry, scared the ever-loving spit out of me, and then my husband, since I jumped back on him as I was swinging, oh, you were like, <laughs> now he's ready for a war, and I had to explain that I think a little ghost girl was just really curious about my face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me tell you, that experience proved it 100-fold. Oh, I skipped a paragraph. Needless to say, she disappeared as quickly as I moved. They say your subconscious knows when you're being stared at, even if you're sleeping. Let me tell you, that experience proved it 100-fold. My husband and I talked about it in the morning, and I brought up the fist, the first shadow woman I mentioned. We had this theory of if it's not a shadow people and both times they were female that possibly it was our daughters or maybe future granddaughters time traveling i know that's a stretch but to think about the hair it would be how our daughters would look when they're older with the thought being if you could really travel back in time you shouldn't be able to interact with anything too much as to not change things so maybe they have to be more in shadow than physical but i think that's my husband trying to make himself feel better in fact i'm not sure he went back to sleep that night but i did lol thanks for reading love to all you glitches the end the writer was just too pretty ghostly ghost just needed to see she swings at them <laughs> finally made it back oh love this story oh my god I'm glad not that I'm glad but I was wondering why they give off wake up mom vibes I've never seen that um I was wondering if because you know the name of it was punched a shadow figure I was wondering if when you punched it, I was like waiting for the punch box I was thinking, wondering when you punched it did you feel anything like was it like a solid punch or did it go right through but it definitely like kind of went right through and because it also disappeared at the same time, which is so interesting. I think that's actually a really interesting theory that your husband has about time traveling. Um, Because I also have a similar theory, not time traveling, but I have a similar theory of like perhaps ghosts and things that we're seeing are just things in other dimensions and other timelines that are bleeding over. And like we might be ghosts in like another timeline or another dimension. You know what I mean? So I think that's a very interesting theory. So I'm not sure. It could be that. Could also be a scary ghost shadow person. The theory reminds me of a mama who said her little girl and didn't realize until after she passed. Very possible, right? Ghost <laughs> is. Come back to us. Imagine your daughter's being like, remember when mom was trying to swing at us? Oh, that would be really crazy. What movie? I thought that before based on that movie. What movie? I didn't even know there was a movie. <laughs> Where the dad moved the books? Yes, Jess, I know we're at 300K. We're going to play the game right now before we read the next one. The Others? Interstellar? I never saw that movie. Which is a theory I have. Okay. Mm. Great story. Thank you so, so much for sharing. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. 
And while you guys are doing that, I am going to put this away. Um, and we're going to get the drawing game ready because we're going to play the drawing game. And then we're going to get on to the next one. So the next story after this one, just so we're aware, is McKenna on TikTok. My mother confirmed her murder. McKenna, are you still here on TikTok? I just want to um, confirm that you are. I'm making you hungry. <laughs> yep. Okay, perfect. My mom confirmed her murder. Okay, that's going to be the next one. After we do the drawing game, The Others is amazing. I thought, isn't The Others a scary movie or no? Oh, guys, you got 50 out of 50, 100% happy faces over there on TikTok, 100% happy faces over here on YouTube. Awesomely outrageous. Awesomely outrageous all right you guys ready here we go drawing game <laughs> that's way too easy uh all right here we go hmm how should we draw this first you guys can both see right you're a sleepy girl go to sleep silly Silly girl. Thank you for subscribing. Hell if I know. 69.69. Okay. Um, hmm. Come with me and you'll be in a world of your imagination. Guys, I cannot draw with this fucking mouse. And I hope you're getting it. And I think you are. <laughs> okay. All right. We're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. <laughs> We're getting it. The it the word is beach. The word is beach. So good job, my friends. I wish there was something I could do to like clear this instead of having to erase the whole thing, but that's okay. That's okay. That was a terrible beach. I really need to get my fucking shit together. Okay. Next one. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> okay, here we go. I was just going to start singing something, but it would have given it away. I'll tell you after what I was going to sing. Boom! You know the crab rave? <laughs> I love the crab rave. It's very catchy. It's obviously crab. Good job, my friends. Good job, my friends. Okay, one more. One more, and then we're on to the next story. Uh, feeling like a crabby crab. YouTube, can you tell me how many people are on YouTube right now? While well, I get my next word. 148. 
You don't know the crab rave? You love the crab rave too? Google it. Just Google crab rave. It's it's a song, right? It's like a it's like a dance dancey song. But like the video, it's like my my kids used to put it on. It's like eight hours of a crab rave. And it's literally just the song on repeat. And it's like a bunch of crabs like dancing and stuff. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Never heard of it. Thank you so much, YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, friends, we are uh, friends on TikTok. We are also live on YouTube. If you want to join us, it's Tessica Vision. Same name is here. And you can see the stories on the screen there. <laughs> okay. Um, um, you know what? I'm going to put the category as medium. Let's get a medium word. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, we'll try it. Here we go. Ready? Last one. Oh, Morgan. Can I say your snores and your giggles make my day so much better? Thank you so much, friend. <laughs> Yes, crab rave is crab rave is lit. My kids are obsessed. Why is my name gray and not green? Zach, maybe your membership ran out. My son and daughter are three years apart, but look so much alike that she can open his iPhone face ID with her face. That's crazy. Your nose is stuffy. I'm a little stuffy, but it's definitely better than it was before. Hey. J. Lo Lopez. Um, can somebody drop them the how to join to be a member? Link, please, for Zach. Thank you. In YouTube. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last one, last one, last one. Then we got to get back to stories because it's 1120. Um, I'm, I think I'm just trying to figure out how to draw this. All right. We're just going to go for it. Here we go. Okay. Um, oh, my God. I need to start that over. I cannot do a straight fucking line with this mouse. I swear to God, my hand is not this shaky. Guys, this is so bad. This is supposed to be a straight line. Just go with it. All right? Just go with it. <sighs> you guys are... <laughs> guys, I can't make a square. I can't. It's the mouse. I swear to God, it's not me. <laughs> nobody's getting it um what maybe this will help ufo it's not a ufo it's not a school bus friends oh my god Margarita, you're so close. Yes. Okay. People on YouTube are getting it. Some people on YouTube are getting it. Nobody on TikTok is getting it yet. <laughs> I want to wait a second to see if TikTok, if my chat's just behind again. Good year, blimp. kindergarten drawings is on point tonight all right i don't see it on tiktok and i waited a minute so i'm gonna let you know that it is a minivan whoa it's a minivan <laughs> i swear to god it is not me friends this mouse like it does not allow me i don't know i don't know doesn't allow me who even knows Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. All right, I'm erasing this, and then we're reading the next story. YouTube, I'm going to give you a little ad while I'm erasing this. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Let me know what you get. Um, I'm 
my TikTok chat is definitely behind. I think it's because so many people are writing at the same time. Maybe that's what happens. Okay, let me find my mom. Confirmed her murder. Ooh, this is crazy. Okay. I'm going to wait because TikTok is definitely like super behind right now. Like, and look, they're saying, we said it, we said it, we said minivan, we said it. It's my chat on your end, on my end. It's your chat on my end. It's me seeing your chat. <laughs> I think when you guys write so fast, I guess maybe it's like trying to slow it for me so that I can read it all. You know what I mean? Um... I think it's just when it, maybe there's like a setting. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Is there like a chats chat settings? Um There was Is it here maybe? No, this is the stream settings. There definitely was like chat settings. I'm going to have to look into that because it's definitely, it's definitely me. 825. It's 1125 for me. So yes, Lita. We all live in a yellow submarine. You have the things now. You do. Oh, Lexi. Lexi, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Welcome to the Glitch community. And um, Moon Willow, thank you so much for a rose. Jacqueline, thank you for a llama. Barbara, thank you for the llama. And another llama and another llama. Three llamas, Barbara. Thank you. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> yes, Revy, thank you for the llamas. Yes. Ooh, we hit the live goal. Good night, Linda. Thank you for subscribing, Shameless Two and Friends. Llama. Yeah, I think we're caught up. Revy for Prez. <laughs> Um, okay, hold on. Let me, thank you so much, Music Junkie, Barbara, K King. I think Music Junkie and Revy are the same person, but for some reason it tells me like different names when I'm looking at stuff. And Crafts by Jack Jack, thank you so much for contributing to the live goal. Let's set another little baby. What's this one? Oh no, that's like a thousand. Never mind. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to put the coral because it's so pretty. Um, Oh, I just wanted to say really quick before I read this next story. Um, how many more stories do we have left? We have one, two, five. We have five more left. We have five more left. Um, yay. What was I going to say? <laughs> Virginia, thank you for the roses. Oh, really quick, while I have all of you here, I just want to let you know that if anybody watches, uh, plays World of Warcraft or likes to watch those kind of streams that Uncle Matrix recently started, just he just did it today and like yesterday, I think, started streaming on Twitch, um, playing WoW. So if anybody's interested in that and like wants to, you know, he's like brand spanking new. So he has like nobody in his, nobody in his streams yet. Just me and like maybe one or two other people. So if anybody's into that, please go follow him uh, on Twitch. He's Flamp TV. Um, he is Horde Mojo, but that doesn't matter anymore, right? Hold on. I just want to make sure it's the right one so I can tell you. I could spell it for you. Let me... Where's my following? 
Where are you? Flamp. I'm vanilla, baby. It always matters. Well, then hoard, hoard, hoard. It's lamp with two Ps TV. I'm typing it in. Oh, I can actually type in here. Lamp TV. I just, if someone could pin that on TikTok, um, because I can't for some reason. But it's Flamp TV on Twitch if you guys want to follow him and watch his streams. P H L A M P P T V. Um, okay. Be right back. Okay. Pin it on Discord. Badass, I'll get a Twitch. <laughs> Thanks, Mojo. <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh he's streaming his raids because you know he raids with his guild um a few days a week. And also today he thank you, W Kid, to remind me to drink. He's brand new, but he's so cute. He's just the cutest. Okay. We're getting back to these stories. We're reading, my mom confirmed her murder. Thank you so much, Moon. Thank you, Disney. Thank you, Mojo. Thank you, anyone that is going. <laughs> Odin for vice president. <laughs> Thank you, anyone that went to go follow. I appreciate it. Thank you, Anna. Odin's one of my cats. Odin's one of my cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, three, eleven, forty. Here we go, friends. Hi, Anti Matrix. Hi. I religiously watched your videos for a while. I've seen them all. Yes. Thank you so much. And I've been considering sending this in for a while, but I didn't think it was worth your time. It's always worth my time. But seeing more ghost slash psychic stuff on your page gave me the courage to see if you agree with me. I know you love the long ones, but bear with me because I need to get some background first. I lost my mom in a fire in October of 2022. We were each other's person and two halves of a whole. I'm so sorry for your loss. She's the only person I'm 100% sure is part of my spirit family. Well, she had extreme depression for most of her life and had multiple S attempts unaliving attempts and episodes, so much so that I lost count. So when we heard that she had passed, we all assumed what happened. That is until I started digging. First off, my mom hadn't had a depressive episode or any issues in at least three years, which was huge for her. She was going to school to get a degree she had wanted to for 25 years, was moving out of an unsafe living situation, more on that in a second, and was truly hopeful for the future. There's a lot about her case that doesn't make sense. Her phone disappearing, her talking to a stranger outside her house that night, making plans with my brother for the next morning, etc. But she and I had gotten into a fight that night, so when I found out, I blamed myself. And there's enough to it that my autism has really latched on to the logistics of it being my fault because A plus B equals C. As far as her living situation, she was in school and dealing with long COVID. Oh, my God. So she was renting a downstairs room from a family of three. The husband was at least emotionally and mentally abusive to the wife and son. My mom, being a nurse and having thin walls, would interject whenever she tr could try to help the wife and son. Even recording the husband threatening them on her phone and saying as much to him. She wanted to stay there until she finished school, but I was convinced that she wasn't safe, so I convinced her to move. She was supposed to be out a little over a week after she died. Oh my goodness. The husband was terrifying. He set off a bomb outside my mom's exterior door, calling it a firework. It wasn't. Installed two cameras on the premises to watch her comings and goings and knew stuff about her he should not know in any way. All of that's just the tip of the iceberg. Well, one day I was talking to a friend about all of it and described me and my mom as two sides of the same coin. Later that day, I was deep in grief and guilt and came across a video on TikTok about asking for signs and answers from the other side. So I said, fuck it, and asked my mom to send me purple butterflies if her death was against her will. I chose purple randomly, but realized later on that it was because it was her favorite color. So I asked the question and went to bed. The next day, about midday, I realized I hadn't seen anything, so I'd, I said I'd keep an eye out until the end of the day. 
I get home and I'm in bed watching TikToks around 11.30 p.m. One of the first videos I see is a video with like 200 likes talking about a dentist who is currently under a lot of controversy. I recognize the name of one of the key players, so I looked into it. I started with the patient mentioned in the video that I saw. I went to her page and watched all the videos telling her story. When I was done, I went to leave her page but decided to watch one more. All of her videos had over 10,000 views. This one only had 650. As I'm watching it, it's nothing of interest really, but as I go to leave towards the end, there's a clip of a Snapchat video where she has a butterfly filter across her nose, purple butterflies. I had to go back and rewatch to make sure I wasn't hallucinating, but when I did, I immediately started crying, shaking, and got full body chills. I look up at the time and it's 1212. Seeing it's an angel number, I look it up. I'll include the screenshot. I ended up screenshotting it a few minutes later to show a friend at the end, but it represents protection and progress. And the last line is two sides of a coin. <gasps> so at this point, I'm losing my ever loving mind. And since she's passed, I've heard her very clearly and very loudly a few times. As I'm losing it, I'll say to her, I'll get you justice. To which she responds, I know, baby, louder and clearer than any other time I've heard her. I then said, I miss you, mama, and I was overcome with the sensation of someone placing their hand on my forehead, which she did a lot, as she said, I'm right here, baby. Then she said softly, as if trying not to cry, I love you, angel, which I have tattooed in her handwriting on my wrist. Oh my God, stop. The thing about my mom is she was bullied by her siblings for crying and went through a lot of trauma with men, so I can count on one hand how many times I've seen her cry. But I could feel her tears and anger over what was happening because it wasn't her decision, even if she's at peace now and isn't in pain. To cap it all off, I am calm and, uh, I'm sorry, to cap it all off, I calm down and open TikTok again. The first video clip is a clip from one of my favorite shows. A show I love so much that the only other tattoo I have is related to it, which my mom knew. The video was one of the characters who had recently lost her mom, has her heart stop at the end up, uh, has her heart stop and end up in the afterlife for a short period. She played a role in her mom's death and had been blaming herself. She sees her mom and her mom proceeds to tell her that she doesn't want to see her there again for a very long time. She has to forgive herself because the mom already did because it wasn't her fault and she was at peace because of her daughter's being the very best parts of her personified. Oh my God. What? This is crazy. So now I'm in contact with my mom's lawyer to move forward on her death because he agrees it doesn't add up and the cops aren't doing enough. But I've had enough people doubt the situation that I'd love to hear your thoughts. I can't really share the reasoning on why I'm so sure she did, didn't did make that choice to most people. Oh, this is the angel number. The angel number 1212 is thought to represent prosperity, contentment, and joy. According to numerology, seeing 1212 is a symbol of unity, virtue, of purity, and love. It's also a sign that you're protected by guardian angels. Angel number 1212 symbolizes progression, cooperation, your connection to the spirit world and the universe and two sides of a coin. That is so crazy. Hold on a second. That's Grey's Anatomy. What's Grey's Anatomy? Oh, the show that she was talking about. I am crying, right? I'm giving you the biggest embrace in my mind. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, my God. McKenna, I'm so proud of you for going through with her case. We support you 100%. Oh, the show is Legacies. She said the show is Legacies. Hugs all the way around. This is crazy. McKenna, this is crazy. At the like the literal coincidences, like obviously the butterflies, all right? But like literally everything else, the butterflies, then the fucking the angel number that said like two sides of a coin. And then the whole Thing where she's talking to you. Hold on a second. I literally, I can't even remember all the things. Oh, oh, the thing that you watched, the video that you watched right after was like literally everything. So much, conf oh my God, so much confirmation. Just like so much confirmation. Crazy. So crazy. 
so super crazy. I hope you get justice. McKenna sending you all of the love. No way all of these things were coincidental. 100% support from this community that MoFo is going to get his just desserts. If you ask for specific signs, you will receive them. Yes. I love how she was left with no questions. One, The phone missing is wild. Yep, the phone missing. It means you're on the right path. Yes, we 100% support you. I'm so sorry for your loss. I am. I think it's so cool that you are getting all of this. Nothing is coincidence. Correct, correct. You're getting all this confirmation from your mother. We support you. We love you so much. That was a crazy story. Thank you so much for sharing that story. And I re we hope everything goes good for you. I just really quick want to say, Revy, thank you for the ice skating. Revy, thank you for the two corals. Revy, thank you for the galaxy. Oh my God, I appreciate you. Angie, thank you for the heart me. Kelsey, thank you for the heart me. Angie, thank you for the coral. And Rachel, thank you for the rose. I appreciate you so much, all of you guys that are sending things. Thank you for subscribing, Renee. I appreciate all of you. You guys are awesome. The way you just said the phone missing is wild, kind of like a cartoon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hey, Heather. Hello, Heather. And is that a SpongeBob tattoo on your wrist? No, it's not. This is, um, it's the jelly side of the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Uncle Matrix has the peanut butter on him, on his neck. Thank you, Jenna, for the llama. I strongly believe that you should become a voice actor. <gasps> I would love to be a voice actor. Hook me up. Hook a girl up. Hook a girl up. It is cute, right? Because our names also, we call ourselves Team Peanut Butter and Jelly because my name is Jess and his name is Phil. So like Peanut Butter and Jelly. We've called ourselves Team Peanut Butter and Jelly for like literally seven years. <laughs> my hubby has a Reese cup. I love it. That's the best tattoo I've ever seen. I love that. Thank you, Uncle Matrix. Yes. With a bite out of it. That is really, really cute. From far away, it looks like SpongeBob. I love SpongeBob, though. Like, literally obsessed with SpongeBob. So it could be a SpongeBob tattoo. Thank you, Danielle. It is a cute one. Yes. Thank you. Okay, we are going to vote. That was such a great story. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok? And um, our next story is going to be Melissa on YouTube Halloween. If you're still here, Melissa, are you still here for Halloween? I have four more stories to read before we're going to end. And I am going to probably end after the four stories because I'm going to go past 12 o'clock. I normally like to get off at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And right now it's 1140. <gasps> Whoa. Revy. Leon the kitten was so cute. He's not a kitten. He's a lion kitten. Oh my God. I loved that one. And guys, I can see the big gifts on the screen, which makes me happy because I got sad that I couldn't see them, but I can see them. Oh my God. That was so cute. I loved it so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Adorable. 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 I love the meow made it like 10 times better. Christina, that's not something that I can personally do. I don't, it's not like an option on my end right now. I should sing as a Disney princess. Thank you. <laughs> I'm starting a Revy fan club. <gasps> Guys, we got all happy faces again. Like literally awesome today. People are loving the stories today. Okay. Oh, what are you up to likes wise? 345. We are slacking TikTok on the likes today. I just want to let you know because we've been on for... Three and a half hours, and we're only at 344,000. That's really sad. <laughs> That's okay. Um, tomorrow, we're going to do better tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're doing a goal. I'm doing a goal of a million tomorrow. 
I've been wanting to try to potentially go on a live earlier. Like normally I go on live. <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> normally I go on live uh, around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if I have time tomorrow, I'm thinking about going on maybe earlier, maybe like seven or even six and doing like an extra super long stream. Because I feel like I have so much fun on here with you guys and I feel like our streams go so fast. I don't even know what to do. I'm going to try. It's not a guarantee. I'm going to try. I don't go live on specific days um, for whoever is asking. Unfortunately, um, my custody schedule is I have a rotating custody schedule. So basically, I my schedule day to day, week to week is different all the time. So I can't commit to certain days of the week to go live um, because it's always changing. And my kids come first and I don't I don't go live when I have my kids here because I like to make sure I'm spending time with them. You know, they're only they're only young. They're only this young now. <laughs> Not that I have to explain myself. Oh, they're 10. If tomorrow uncle says hi, I will personally get you to one million. You will? You mean if uncle comes on the camera and says hello tomorrow? I will definitely, I'll definitely uh, announce it in Discord if I go live earlier. I will break my fingers giving you a million likes. Easy peasy. Uncle will come on, no problem. Uh, I have kids. Yes, I have, uh, well, I have a daughter. So I, me and Uncle Matrix are both divorced. So I have a daughter from my previous marriage and he has a son from his previous marriage. Um, and they are actually both 10. They're both, they're like literally two weeks apart, which is perfect. So thank you, Teresa, for following. <sighs> oh, that would be so cool, Mojo. That would be awesome. You second this? All right. I'm going to hold you guys to that. If I go on tomorrow and Uncle Matrix comes and says hi, you're getting me to a million likes. I am going to hold you to it. Okay. I'm sorry. I asked if Melissa was here for Halloween and I did not pay attention. Melissa, are you here on YouTube for Halloween? Yes, you are. Melissa Jenkins. I scrolled up. Okay. Halloween. Halloween. My sister and her boyfriend have kids that were born on the exact same day. The son is four hours older. That is so cool. You have done it, but not in a long time. Uncle Matrix draws. You should have him read a story. No, he will not read a story. Jesse will not read a story. And also, you don't want him to read a story. He's, I love him so much. He's a very, very slow reader. <laughs> it's not a strong suit. He does not like to read for that reason. Um, <laughs> but I bet you I can get him to draw. He can definitely probably draw. I'll ask him. Um, Yes, they get to grow up with best friends. Yes, it's so nice. How do I choose what emails I read? Mrs. Ricio, um, in the beginning, <laughs> it's rough, Joni. I know. Yeah, it's rough. It's I want to be like, come on, come on. Um, in the beginning of the live, I literally just people tell me, oh, I sent a story. It's called this. And I just start making a list. That's it. I am reading stories. I'm about to read another one. Um, I'm getting it right now. This was a great story. What did I do? No, I didn't do anything. Okay. This one is Halloween. Halloween, 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 ween, ween, Halloween, 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 ween, ween, Halloween, 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 ween, ween, Halloween, Halloween, ween, ween. Halloween, ween, 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 ween. Halloween, ween, 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 ween. Halloween, holla, holla, holla. Oh my God, cat. Yes. Oh my God. And it's so bad because, like, I can't. And he, I can't. <laughs> okay. We are. I just want to do this one because we haven't done it in a little bit. Hey, ass butt. <laughs> so fun. Okay. We're reading now. We're reading now. We're reading now. We're reading Halloween and it is starting at. 
three, 29, 31. <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> okay. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> First, I want to say I love you and this platform. I've got so many stories. I could help you write your second book with just my life alone. That's amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for the compliments. I have two stories I want to talk about tonight. I was five years old. To the, uh, I was five years old, went to the nursing home with my cousin who had just gotten out of prison. Well, I'm walking around. I run into an old time family friend, Mama Mac. She picked me up and she said she had been waiting on me. And she loves me, gave me a hug and candy, and she spoke to my cousin. Well, we finished up, went outside to our mom's, and I was so happy to tell her how I ran into Mama Mac. She said, Dieter, no, you didn't. Now get in the car. I said, yes, I did. She hugged me and told me she loved me and missed me. Mom and Aunt Sandy just looked at each other. Well, my cousin asked why they were calling me a liar. They looked at him and said, Lyle, she passed away while you were in prison. Oh, oh my God. And she picked you up and everything and gave you kisses and hugs. That's amazing. That's amazing. Okay. Next story. I was with Mama. Oh, we have crying. We have crying over here. Oh. Next story. Okay. I was with Mama Mac's grandson. He was nine and I was eight. It was Halloween. And we went to a fest and our parents let us walk around there alone. And we ran into a psychic. She read our futures. Well, we both ran out crying. I found his mom and said, this lady said I was going to be kidnapped and, how do I say this word? Uh, kidnapped and ard, essayed, I'm going to say essayed maybe, but, but ard, when I turned 15. Scooter found my mom and said, this lady said I'm going to pass away in a car accident when I turned 15. Mom said, no, you aren't. She's just trying to scare you because it's Halloween. Well, our parents met up, exchanged stories. That made my aunt mad they went looking for the lady the people said they never had a psychic there fast forward scooter got into a car accident at 15 and he passed away i turned 15 on a sunday and monday night i got kidnapped and s-a-r'd by the maintenance man of our apartment building I wonder if the universe tried to warn us i don't know but five years later i wrote scooter a letter telling him how i miss him and my mom called me out of the room i asked uh asked what i was doing i was crying told her i wrote scooter a letter and she asked if she could read it i went to get it off my bed and it was gone and i never did find it even after we moved so i say scooter took his letter oh the end oh my goodness he took his letter first of all i am so sorry for your loss i am so sorry that that happened to you Oh my goodness. That's crazy. There was a psychic that wasn't even there. There wasn't even a psychic. And you said that was for sure somebody trying to warn you. Right? For sure. For sure. Oh, and I love that he took his letter though. Oh, I know so many traumatic events. I have chills. You can't vote on this one? Why not? Definitely a warning. Sending hugs. It is an emotional night, guys. She knew because of the letter. He time traveled and told someone, anyone. <gasps> oh, that is a good perspective. Excuse me. I'm having... <laughs> I have to fix the late... One of the ladies is not staying where she needs to stay. <laughs> I had to fix her. Um... The, I love the time travel theory. Yes. You're so brave for sharing, dear. This was a crazy story. Virtual hugs. A little more details would have been helpful, psychic. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Escaped. <laughs> no, Chris, I'm not adding any more stories tonight. What was that noise? I'm not adding any more stories tonight. Um, I have three more to read now, and I am already should be leaving in a minute. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow, though. Girl, I feel that. That's why I got a reduction, so they stay where I want them to. Oh, a reduction sounds great. I am so jealous of people that have, like, bees. Like some bees. I would love some bees. I got these doubles, these double Ds over here.
Ugh, it would be so nice. Nah, I don't want to. Can y'all give me some of that shit? I got an A cup at 27. Be happy, friend. Be happy. I would gladly trade. I would so gladly trade. People don't believe it. It's not so great. It's really not. Triple F. Oh, God. Oh. Literally, I don't know if any of you ladies with big with big ladies, you went from a GG to a C. That sounds nice. My C-ish look great in a, t in, a in a tank top dress from TikTok, yes. Um, I don't know if any of you other big lady, big, <laughs> big lady ladies do this, but like I will literally just have Uncle Matrix just hold them up. Because it like literally have, have somebody hold them up just for a minute and like the weight off of your upper back Oh my God, it is feels so good. Freeing, it's freeing. Oh, I love it too, Stephanie. Oh my God, right? Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Mine would all day if I let him. Well, I have to tell him not to mess around with them, just hold him up. <laughs> Franken tits. <laughs> You don't have a helper, you need to do a helper. Oh my god. You can't even. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry that we got off topic from your story. Um just just having a moment. Squirrel. But um Yeah, <laughs> well, he's not allowed to do that. We kid. We are going to vote. Thank you so much for sharing that beautiful, heartbreaking, but also beautiful story. They're so stupid. Amanda, I agree. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. <laughs> I love you guys put squirrels in the chat. When don't we get off topic? <laughs> it wouldn't be a night if we didn't. I know. It wouldn't be right if we didn't. I know. Um, but thank you so much. Okay, our next story that we're going to be reading, if you are here, oh, is Caitlin. Candace told me that Caitlin has a story called Haunted Family. I love hearing the squirrel, too. I love seeing it on the screen. Are you here? Here? We're both here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Haunted family the family the family's haunted guys who am i family family <laughs> cars family <laughs> who am i <laughs> thank you nikki <laughs> no no nikki was right not soprano not joe pesci Yep, Fast and the Fast and the Furious. F family, cars, family, family, cars. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Oh, TikTok, we're almost at four hundred k. I only know super no uh, supernatural and new girl references over here. Bye, Nadia. Me too, Candy, but I have a couple stories I have to read. As soon as you said cars, I laughed. <laughs> family and cars. My husband and I make family jokes like once a week. <laughs> Stephanie, always squirreling. Always. Always squirreling. Squirrel. Okay. Good night, Lexi. Here we go. We're reading Haunted Family. Haunted. All your kids are named after Supernatural. Danielle, what are your kids' names? Hold on. We have to stop the entire stream. <laughs> Literally wish my name were Jess so I could tell people don't suppress the Jess. <laughs> I think I love you. So what am I so afraid of? <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me. 
you aren't wrong off topic though i love your accent and the way you say certain words for example drawing <laughs> samuel You have a lot of children. Are these all your children? One, two, three. Wait, hold on. How many children is that? Hold on, I'm going to read them to you in one second, TikTok. Sir, makes a lot. I like big butts and I do cannot lie. Whoops. You are the brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and around thinking your face you get sprung. Wanna okay, hold on. We got to go back over here. <laughs> hold on. I need to know. Jensen Allen Dean is one. Four kids. Okay, so one is Samuel. One is Elena, in parentheses, Abaddon. One is Amara, Amara. And one is Jensen Allen Dean. In love. <laughs> In love. Woo. Okay. Okay. 400 K. Nice. Okay. We got, okay. You hit 400 K. We're going to read, we're going to read the next one, Haunted Family, and then we'll do the 400 K. And then I have two more stories and then I got to sign off for the night, but I'll be back tomorrow. I know. Story time. Story time. Back, 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 back. Red on live, boom. Um, haunted family, haunted family home. Is it haunted family home? Right. Right, 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 right. Everybody tell me I'm right, 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 right. Is that right though? For real. Caitlin. Caitlin! Am I right? Is it haunted family home? Caitlin. Bye, McKenna. Is it Haunted Family Home? That's right. I was totally not just mini twerking to your backpack. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just wrote down Haunted Family. I didn't write down the word home. So that's my bad. Okay. Here we go. We're starting this one at 3.42.34. Thirty-four. Oops. Okay. Hi, Auntie. Hi. Of course, we are back watching the live tonight. I hit up my aunt and a few other family members to get their stories from the house they inherited. Yes. Backstory. This takes place at my Aunt Jay and Uncle Jay's house. Uncle Jay inherited this house from his parents and have lived there for as far back as I can remember. Now to the stories. This house was originally only two bedrooms before they had to add on two more additional rooms because they had a farm of kids. <laughs> LOL. When the kids were little still in school, they all had to share the spare bedroom while the others were being built. There was an old TV in there that used to turn on by itself at the most random times. Like you'd be sitting there minding your own business and the TV would turn on right in your face. <gasps> Even when no one was in there and my aunt would be home alone, it would still randomly turn on. They eventually got tired of it. So they bought a new TV thinking that maybe the old one was broken. Nope. It would still turn on randomly. <laughs> nope. Sorry. It is a ghost. Another time, Aunt Jay was walking by the small room. She heard what she thought was vibrating. She went in to inspect it. Sorry. She went in to inspect it and turn off what she thought would just be an old phone with its alarm going off, but she swears she searched that whole room while it continued vibrating but could not find the source. Even... Eventually, it stopped, but she still has no idea what it was. <laughs> we all went there, too. Okay, thanks. That's really weird. Like a vibrating in the room. Like for, That's really, really weird. 
Before the kids moved into the back rooms, while they were still sharing the small rooms with the bunks, they would all swear they could hear Uncle Jay's mom's dead dog running up and down the hallway. This would happen on multiple occasions and eventually even others who didn't live there would hear them when they would come and visit. They eventually converted the small room to a guest room so anytime we stay there if you get lucky and listen closely at night you can hear little nails of that dead dog still running around in the afterlife. Oh my god. That little puppy. The little ghost puppy is running around. Speaking of the dead dog, my mom stayed at my aunt's for a while and she said that she heard the dog so many times while staying there. She also says that she has seen shadow figures on multiple occasions also. (laughs) Uncle Jay's husband, I'm sorry, Uncle Jay's daughter's husband was waiting at their house one day. He was the only one there. He said he heard someone walking down the hallway. You can't see the hallway from the living room, but as he waited to see who came home early, no one rounded the corner. It scared him so bad that he ended up waiting outside for the rest of the family to get there. Oh my God. And Jay has felt someone sit down at the foot of their bed before when no one else was home, let alone in the room with her. There are constant noises happening if you listen close enough. Lulu, their dog, an old child left at home, will watch and track things that my aunt and uncle cannot see. She will even growl at things that aren't there. Oh, there's things there. We know there's things there. Most recently, though, my Aunt W and Mom were staying together at Aunt J's. There was a medical emergency in the family, so everyone was in town. While outside one night, a full moon night, Aunt W was tapping her fingers to a certain beat, like playing a song with her taps. She looks down and sees a little crowd of crickets, and she thought, ha ha, that's funny, they're enjoying the show. The next night, she went back outside. She swears the crickets were singing that same song that she was tapping the night before but as if they were purposely singing directly to her. What? Aunt W said that also while she was there at Aunt Jay's house, she heard something outside like flying over the house, but nothing was there. She knows what she heard and she swears something flew above her. Later that same night, her and my mom were outside when they kept noticing things in the sky, like everywhere in the sky. And W was telling my mom that she hopes she sees a dragon. She knew it was there and the noises she heard made her excited and nervous that it really might be something strange like that. Not long after that, not long after saying that, my mom stopped them dead in their tracks and said, you'll never believe what I just saw fly right in front of you. And W said, try me. You really can't surprise me anymore. A freaking fairy. My mom saw an actual fairy fly around Aunt W. At a different time that same night, Aunt W was outside by herself. The grass was so dry you could have heard anything coming from a mile away. She hears what seems like someone walking up to her. The grass literally crunching like potato chips. She ran so fast into that house, but wishes she would have stuck around to actually see what it was. She thinks whatever it was was made uh, was what made all of the noises above the house. Needless to say, there was always something weird going on in that house. Pretty much everyone has heard or seen something there. My Aunt W is a little more in touch with the spiritual side, so maybe that's why a mix of her and the full moon, so uh, so much stuff happened in one night. But if not, then I feel like her house is definitely a hot spot. Thank you for reading our stories. We love you and hope everyone enjoyed the end. Oh, look, she was a fairy. I once saw a fairy when I was a kid. She was beautiful. Fairies are definitely real. Oh, my God, how cool. I used to see fairies when I was a little girl. Hi, Auntie. Hello. I keep a well-kept fairy garden in hopes you never know. I thought you were going to say it was a dragon, by the way. Thank you for subscribing, Desi. Did the fairy have nipples? Wait, what? Why are you asking that, Hannah? Why would you ask if the fairy had nipples? What a weird question. Okay, sounds good, Anna. Yes, you should, BTW. You should definitely. The fact she said no way. I love hearing everyone's accents. Oh, okay. Aunt W has seen fairies on multiple occasions. I don't know, Hannah. Like, why are we asking that, Hannah? That's, it's a valid question. How is it a valid question? Your nose just cleared up. Shut, you shut your face, Jess. You shut your face. 
<laughs> Kayla! Oh my goodness, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the Glitch Community. Friends on TikTok, welcome Kayla to the Glitch Community. <gasps> Revy, oh my goodness, thank you so much. What a beautiful meteor shower. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And Tracy Lee, thank you so much for all the all the roses if I didn't so far. Um Dean asked, Dean and Supernatural. Oh, from Supernatural, that's why. I forgot. I forgot. Guys, I've only seen it one time all the way through. We're on the second time. We're on the second time. I completely forgot. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Hi, Emmy. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> yep, I finished round one. We're on round two. We're in season two of round two. Oh my god, okay. What a great story. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much for um thank you so so much for sharing. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube? Happy face or sad face on TikTok. You just started season two today. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, we're going to do the drawing game, and then we have two more stories, and then Mama is going to bed. Auntie Matrix is going to bed. I love how we all shared that our minds went into the gutter simultaneously. Yeah. I couldn't even not giggle about it. Literally couldn't even not giggle. Um, um, um. Um, for, after the, for after the game, Bun, are you still on TikTok? Because you're up next. I want to make sure you're still here, bun. Good night, Emily. Yes, bun is up. Hers is my sister's brush with death. And we're going to do that one. We're going to play the drawing game. Then we're going to read that one. And then we're going to read Christina's from YouTube, My Weird Dreams. And then I'm going to bed... But I will be back on tomorrow, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, bun! Woo woo! <laughs> All right. I'm so hungry. Um, We haven't done one in a while, so while I get the drawing game ready, YouTube, I'm just going to give you an ad. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Um... Friends, my friends. What channel is that cat TV? Jenna, it's actually not even a channel. It's a just go to YouTube. I literally just go to YouTube and I type in cat TV. And there's so many of them. Drawing. <laughs> drawing. <laughs> is the first season slow for everyone? Yes. Uh, if you're trying to watch Supernatural, just a heads up, yes. In the first season, the beginning of the first season, yes, is slow. Um, when I first started watching it, I was like, why does everybody love the show? I mean, it's okay. But it's not like anything great. Please keep watching. Please keep watching. It gets insane. The storyline gets... You can't even imagine. You literally cannot even imagine... I got up to season four and something huge happens in season four. And I was like, they can't top that. They topped that for 11 more seasons. Keep watching. <laughs> Supernatural. Yes, I'm telling you, season one is like, all right. But then when you get to the end of season one, you're like, okay. And then season two, you're like, okay. Oh, my God. And then you'll it'll be your favorite show in the entire world. Supernatural. Supernatural. There are 15 seasons, and each season is like 22 or 23 episodes. Chuck says it says it best. It's not jumping the shark if they never come back down. That's true. But, oh, man. It's leaving Netflix soon? 
Are you fucking kidding me? The CW was sold and there's going to be a standalone streaming service for CW shows. Well, I'm going to have to get that. Thank you for subscribing, Locust, by the way. Rewatching Supernatural on season eight. Yes. Woo. Yes, the first few couple seasons are pretty cheesy, but they're but they're so great. And they're long episodes, too. Yeah. It took me like a year to watch the whole thing. Free Spirit, thank you for the heart me. Um, okay. What's the point of Netflix then? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, we gotta play the drawing game and then um and then we're gonna read these two last stories and then I'm gonna go to bed because it's already twelve four twelve fifteen. I know, Morgan, they have to stop with the standalone streaming services. Like, we're literally paying so much money combined. It's insane. Um, okay, Red on Live. I forgot what I was doing. Then we're going to get the drawing game ready. Here we go. Here we go one more time. Everybody's feeling fine. Here we go now. All right. Oh, I got to get a word. We are playing the drawing game. I will be drawing a few things. Where did it go? Pictionary random word generator. Um, I'm going to be drawing things on the screen and you are going to guess in the chats. I will give you a good few seconds to guess and then I will tell you the answers. Let's go to medium again. That's a medium word. How is that a medium word? All right, we're going to try this because this could be confusing. Here we go. You ready? Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to draw this. Okay. Oh my god, that is supposed to be a straight line, friends. This thing will not let me draw straight lines. Oh, you know what? I could do this. There we go. Straight line. Oops. All right, what is it? Oh, you guys already guessed some of it. I'm gonna give TikTok a minute because I'm sure they are putting the putting it, but it's behind. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it on TikTok and I'm seeing it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not saying drawing, Caitlin, I'm saying draw ring with an R, all right? New Yorkers say draw ring. <laughs> The answer was puddle. Oh my God, Emery, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you so much. Welcome to the Glitch community on TikTok. TikTok, please welcome Emery. Okay, it was puddle. It was puddle. And we are going to get another one. So let me erase this whole shkababble. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> We're going to try this. Okay, ready? Jiminy Cricket. I'm going to use some shapes because this is getting harder. Okay, so let's... All right. And then...
<laughs> Can anybody guess that? Oh, TikTok is getting it. Oh, somebody on TikTok got it. Oh, somebody on YouTube got it. Okay, YouTube's getting it. All right, TikTok's getting it. We're getting it. You're getting it. You want <laughs> Mojo. It is most certainly not penis. <laughs> Why would it be penis? <laughs> the answer was jump, my friends. Congratulations. Okay. Uh, one more, one more. <laughs> Crisscross and make you wanna jump, jump. All right, last word is. All right, here we go. I'm using line again in circles, okay? Because it's way easier. Because I literally don't have. I can't draw. I need a friggin' thing to draw. All right. Look at this shit. Okay, some people are getting it. Some people are getting it. You guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. Woo! Killing it. Killing it, killing it, killing it. Killing it, killing it. The answer was hockey. Great job, everybody. Please tell me in the chat, how many did you get right? Did you get one, two, or three, or zero? Did you get zero? One, two, or three? Ooh. Do I have a hockey team? No. I don't give a flying fuck about sports. Literally could not care any less about any sports. I'm technically supposed to be a Patriots fan because Uncle Matrix is a diehard Patriots fan. But I literally don't care. <laughs> I sound like uh, from Parks and Rec. Chris from Parks and Rec. Literally. All right. If you like hockey, what's your favorite hockey team? Go. While I'm pulling up my sister's brush with death. My sisters. I'm singing this and it's like not a happy thing. Here we go. Found it. Whoop. All right, TikTok, your chat's coming back over here. I'm supposed to like coyotes, but I really don't. Thank you for thank you for subscribing, Kelly. <laughs> That's true, Stephanie. But I was it had like a happy beat in my head. Vibe. Melody? Melody. Okay. We are good morning from the Netherlands. Jade, I am reading two more stories and then I'm getting out of here. So enjoy me whilst you can. And we are now, oh guys, I never even, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to take this text off the screen because we're done with that. Um, okay. We're reading My Sister's Brush with Death. We're starting it at 4 Oh, four, 27. Here we go. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. There's a story that's, oh, uh, here's a story. Oh my God. Wow. You want to like read Jessica? Okay. Let's try again. Hi. 
Hi. Here's a story that still gives me goosebumps. More than 10 years ago, my little sister tried to unalive herself. Oh my God, these stories are heavy today. She seized in front of me and then had her heart stop and she stopped breathing. I was the one that called 911 and met the paramedics at the door. She was hospitalized and then she sent uh, and then sent to a psychiatric facility. While she was still in the facility, my mom decided that we needed to move. As we were somberly packing, no music or TV playing, all of a sudden, it all of a sudden sounded like an old TV turning on, like the whine and static of an old TV. We didn't have an old TV and neither of us were near the remote. The screen was black, and in big white letters across the screen, it said, get out. What? Then a snow globe sitting near the TV came flying across the room. My mom and I had to duck to avoid being hit. The snow globe didn't break and landed perfectly on the ground. Fast forward a few years and my little sister and I were talking about what happened that day. She said she was floating in the corner of the room above where I was standing. She remembers the things my mom and I were saying and doing. She told me that when she was taken to the hospital in the ambulance, she tried to stay with me because my mom went to with her in the ambulance, leaving me home. But as soon as the ambulance drove away, she snapped back into her body. We still have no idea why or where the message on the TV came from. And uh, or how slash why the snow globe was thrown across the room. But it scares me to this day. Oh. Megan has been like, hello, they're already moving. Oh, my God. I do not like this story. That's the end. Yes. Uh, I'm listening and out. <laughs> that is so crazy. And very confusing. Yes. Get out. You know, I wonder, wait, maybe something trying to get them out for their own sake. Like, yes, you need to go. You're welcome, Bun. Thank you so much for sharing. What I was going to say is, mm, okay, probably not. But like one thing that came to my brain was like, what if? The reason that the sister tried to unalive herself and was having such a hard mental problem was because there was something energy-wise in the house, you know, that was like fucking her up a little bit. Um, and maybe like something else in the house was telling them to get out. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Maybe something else in the house, like maybe a, a, prote a more protective spirit was like, you need to get out. I mean, if that's the truth, though, they could have told her they could have told them a little bit nicer than throwing a snow globe and being terrifying. <laughs> that's what you were thinking. That's totally plausible. That's what I thought, too. Yes, that makes sense. Yes, I agree. Something could have been messing with her for years for sure. Yes, that's what I thought shortly after we had shortly after we had a wild bug infestation. I feel like that shit points to a demon. No. Right. Maybe sister sending a message while she was not in her body to get out of the get them out of the room. Oh, Margarita, maybe that's demonic, right? I now want to hide my kids' snow globes. <laughs> I think it was all a negative entity because that would have been a much nicer of a sign to leave. Yes, yes. What kind of bugs? What kind of bugs? Sounds like a poltergeist with the throwing of the snow globe. Tons of dead flies in the windows and bugs everywhere. Jess, are you still having your flies from your mimic? Oh, my. Cat TV turned off finally. <laughs> totally a demon with the flies, right? Sounds like demon stuff. Right. You finally got rid of them? <sighs> Thank God. Maybe it had to be forceful to get its point across so sis would live. Maybe, but they were already leaving. That's the other thing too, right? They like whoever just said before, I forget who put the comment, like they were already moving out, like calm down. I'm not sure, Hannah. Hannah's asking Jess, flies are with mimics too? Or do you think flies are specifically attached to demons? 
or maybe it's just that kind of energy in general. I was thinking, yeah, just all of the yikes on all of the bikes. Thank you so much for sharing the live. I'm not sure anymore. Anna, she said she's not sure anymore. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. We are going to vote. Did you appreciate that story? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. And then we're going to read the last one, which is Christina on YouTube. My weird dreams. Christina, are you still here? And then I have to go to bed because it is 1230. I'm up way past my bedtime. Yes, Christina is here. My weird dreams. I appreciated the story. I won't appreciate the nightmares of killer snow globes. <laughs> Keep working. Yes, thank you, Caitlin. YouTube, last ad of the night. I love you so much. Thank you for get paid, baby. You guys are so sweet, I swear. Thank you for supporting me. You guys are like literally such a supportive group. I love this community. Love this community. Love, love, love. You people always keep me up on weeknights. <laughs> One more story, guys. One more story and then we're going to bed. Don't worry. I'm loving a clear nose. I think, yeah, are you lying to me, Jess? Are you lying to me? Is it just a joke now? <laughs> Are you and Justin over there laughing at me? <laughs> Do you love me specifically too, though, or just a community? <laughs> Morgan, I love everyone. Individually and together. Squatty potty, you got a squatty potty ad? That's amazing. <laughs> squatty potty, attorney, Timu. The yikes have yeeted their bikes and are running freely. <laughs> No, absolutely not, Christina. We're reading your story. We are reading your story. I'm not. I'm 100% serious. Girl, my allergies have been in my nose. Okay, what we're talking about, if you don't know, is for some reason, Jess called cards in, in TikTok over here, uh, one of my moderators. It seems that whenever I get stuffy, I only I really only get stuffy like when I'm on live. For some reason, I get stuffy. But when I am when I'm get stuffy on live, her nose is clear. And then when her nose gets stuffy, I get clear. <laughs> It's really fucking weird. Okay. All right. Let me find this story. I forgot this was live and was just sitting through the ad. Hey, sit through the ad. <laughs> I have a squatty potty in there. Amazing. I don't have a squatty potty, but we do have like uh, a stool in one of our bathrooms because from when the kids were younger and now we just still have it. And I do use it sometimes. It is actually very helpful to be in the squatting position. It is really, really weird, right? Um. Thank you for the roses, Emery. And Oshi, thank you so much for the heart me. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, read on live. And I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's 11.32 there. Um, my weird... Dreams. Oh, these are the ones that are written. Oh, shit. I hope I can read these. <laughs> I hope I can. Okay. This person has them like literally handwritten and she just sent me pictures of them. So I'm going to try my best. Your handwriting is actually not that bad. My handwriting is so bad. Let's be glad that I didn't write it. Okay. Okay. We're reading this last one for 1357. Okay. First dream. The dream starts with me and Daniel, my husband, at the river in my van. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about in a van down by the river. Hope you guys know what I'm talking about. The dream starts with me and my uh, and Daniel, my husband, at the river in my van. We decided to go to the water and in the back seat there is a baby asleep. The van is on with the AC running. We swim for about 30 minutes to an hour. I decide to go check on the baby. I start to get, you just left the baby in the car in your dream? <laughs> 
I start to get dressed and look up at the van and I see this guy run from the van. So I run up to the van yelling, hey, I check on the baby and she is fine. And I am standing at the van. But my, I like astro project to my house and it's been ransacked. Hold on. TikTok is telling me that I need to verify that I'm live still. Sorry about that. For an hour, I know. Oh, this is a dream, so we can't we can't blame we can't blame them. Uh okay. I astro project to my house and it's been ransacked. I walk through the house, closing doors all the way to my bedroom. I walk into my bedroom and grab my BB airsoft gun and walk back towards my kids' room to check the house when I walk by my girl's room and my youngest Maddie's bed is gone I walk part of the door I walk past the door and open my boy's room and the room is not theirs it is different and there are two men and a bag if that's it two men in a bag is that the end of that one Oh, okay. It's very interesting. Okay, and then this is the second dream. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm squinting this whole time because I'm I'm trying to uh, read it because it's handwritten. I'm, I'm doing my best. Okay. Second dream. That's okay, Christina. Uh, I'm confused too. <laughs> the classic hit TV show, Two Men in a Bag. That made me laugh. Um, these are just, they're weird dreams. Okay, second dream. I'm standing at my front door talking to my mom and I open my door and my dog, Bree, was standing there happy wagging her tail. I start to freak out because she died in 2022. As I'm looking at her, I see some hair is missing and her eyes are missing. Oh my God. And there is blood on her back <gasps> and the blood is in the shape of the word revive i say to my mom does that say revive and she says what are you talking about and i ask if she can see brie and she says yes she is such a good girl and then i say but she's supposed to be dead she died and then the dream changes to me my mom and my two daughters walking down the road with someone i don't know and i can't see her face we walk up to a house and there's a woman that walks out and hugs the person i don't know Still can't see either of their faces. Then we are inside and it's like a doctor slash library. And the doctor is looking over Brie. And I turn to check the girls and they are gone. So I had to go to the next page. I call for them and they walk up with high collar backpacks. On the tag it says $200. And there are these donation bins and... This walks up and says, hey, you have to pay for them. So I tell the girls to put the bags back and a woman walks up and says, no, they are free for everyone. This is a, don a donation center. No one pays no matter to your wealth. These are donations. And I start to help her. I start to hear music and I wake up. That was the end of the dreams. Those were very weird dreams. Good night, Mojo. Yes, Matt Foley. Thank you so much for knowing. Um, those are just really weird dreams that you had. I don't know. Um, Mojo Powerpuff Girls. Uh, I think they were just sharing weird dreams that they had. And they were very weird. I don't know if there's any. Do you, Did you feel there was any like meaning behind any of those or anything? They were really vivid. They were very vivid dreams. Hold on one second. I'm trying to read. Oh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Reese, you wouldn't do that. I get tribute dreams also. Always fun, kind of. I don't know. These are very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing your weird dreams. Persevere. I thought it might have something to do with your dog. That was really weird, the dog part. So like in the dream, it was that it was kind of like your mom wasn't seeing the dog all messed up, was just seeing the dog normal. And you were seeing the dog all, how did your dog pass away? Did it have anything to do with the way that they looked? Yes, very weird. So weird. I'm sorry, Bruna, I got to go. I was supposed to leave 40 minutes ago. I used to have a guy of a dream in a blue mask just screaming, but the dream was silent. What? That's so weird. I have very vivid dreams, but I know I'm dreaming and I try to wake myself because they're not good. Um, We got to go to sleep on the East Coast. Okay, we're going to we're going to vote really quick. Did you appreciate those dreams? Yes or no on YouTube. Happy face or sad face on TikTok. Um, and while we're voting, I just want to say thank you so, so much. Persevere, thank you so much for the galaxy. I appreciate you. I don't know if you're still in here. Or we just popped in to say hello. Um, hold on one second. Let me just put this here. We read this one on live. Um, but thank you so much if you came to hang out today. Extra special thank you if you, um, I don't remember what I'm saying. Thank you for coming to hang out today. I'm tired. Thank you for coming to hang out today. Thank you for chatting and commenting and playing the game and sending your stories and chatting with each other and sending likes and all the things and gifts and all the things. I love you guys so, so much. I will be, I should be back on tomorrow night barring any unforeseen circumstances. So, um, but I will announce in Discord. So please make sure that you are, please follow me. TikTok, if you're not following me, hit that follow button. YouTube, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. TikTok, you should also go subscribe to YouTube because this has been recorded and it will be up on YouTube tomorrow. So you'll be able to rewatch it. Um, any of the stories that you missed. Um, so please make sure you're following and subscribed. Also, please, everybody come and hang out in the Discord. Um, Discord is dsc.gg slash Anti-matrix. If you do not know what I just said, because you probably won't remember that, click on the link in my bio TikTok and you can get it there. Chris is actually putting, YouTube Chris is actually putting the link in there, the Discord right there. Thank you so much for putting everything. Um, please join the Discord. We have 1,600 people in there. You can hang out with like-minded individuals. And also, I have an announcements channel where I announce and at everybody when I am going live, when I have posted a YouTube video, when I have dropped new merch. So it's a good place to be. I'll at you and you should get a notification on your phone. You can also check the link in my bio, tessicavision.com, TikTok link in my bio. Chris is putting all my links down there. Yes, that has all of my links, including um, including YouTube, including Discord, including my Amazon wish list, including my P.O. Box. If you want to send me anything, you can send me whatever you like to my P.O. Box, um, including my merch. I have merch. Please check out my merch. I have six different designs and some protection pillows and stuff like that. So check out the merch, Anti-Matrix merch as well. Um, I should be back on tomorrow, but I will be announcing in Discord. I love you guys so, so much. Mwah. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. Ash, thank you for subscribing. And uh, good night. Yes, I have to send the notification tomorrow, beautiful. Good night. Good night. Good night. I love you all. Goodbye.